Hello everyone, welcome back to PSR Marathon 2022. Uh, we are ready for the next run, which is Pokemon Diamond by my guy. So if you would like to take it away. Sounds good. Uh, I'm ready to start. So uh, I'm going to do a countdown to start. Uh, and yeah. Uh, three, two, one, go. So welcome to Pokemon Diamond. Uh, any percent glitchless. In this run, I'll be using Piplup as the main starter instead of Chimchar, which uh, which is normally ran in this run. So, uh, Piplup in this game is not honestly too terrible because basically we're going to be getting HP Water. Uh, actually, let me talk about my Piplup stats for a second. So, basically, we're going to be RNG manipulating a Piplup. It's going to be a rash nature, and it's going to have high IVs. So, basically, it's going to be a rash perfect special attack. Actually, it's almost perfect special attack. It's going to be 30 IV and special. But it's going to be perfect in special defense and speed, which are really important for this run. So You can go with mild nature for Piplup in this run, but I feel like Rash could be better. Only Rash is terrible versus Gardenia, but in this game, it's not bad because Gardenia has like worse po pokes, for example, from like Platinum. Platinum Gardenia with Pimp Piplup, it's terrible. <laughs> If you ever seen Spin Rose of that, it's it's really just luck with that. So, uh, but in this game, it's a lot better, just because Gardenia's pokes are a lot weaker. So yeah, right now I'm just doing the RNG manipulation for the Piplup. So, see so yeah, if you don't know what RNG manipulation is as well, RNG manipulation is basically forcing encounters. Items on Pokemon, for example, Metronome on Cricket's Hut, which we're going to get later. And then you can up other stuff as well. But uh, like, for example, in Platinum, you can Minip Pokerus, but in this game, you cannot. Unfortunately, oh, if we can Minip Pokerus in this game, it'd be a lot better. But uh, unfortunately, we cannot just because the way Battle RNG works in this game. RNG pretty much advances every f like frame, basically, in the battle. So it's going to just... Like, the RNG is just gonna, like, rapidly just go off, basically. Compared to, like, Platinum, where RNG will only advance, like, after, like, a turn or, like, a poke dies or something, for example. I'm not too sure, but, yeah, that's just basically how it works. Maybe in the future we can find a way to win that poker us, but... So, yeah, we're gonna be choosing Pip up here. So we want to see a, I think it's a female Starly. Yeah. And we want to see 21 HP. All right, cool. So yeah, basically the three things that I really need to manip are Piplup and uh, Cricket's Hot with Metronome. And the nice, the other thing that's kind of important, but doesn't matter too much is getting the uh, Starly and Bidoof, but if I, like, like my Minip drops, for example, it's fine. I can find a wild encounter for Starly or Bidoof. But actually, the most important thing is getting Starly and then Krikatot. Because that's just how my Minip works, so... Bidoof doesn't really matter, but as long as we can keep the Minip up to Krikatot, then that's going to be perfect. But we're going to be doing a save, quit, save and quit Minip for that, so... Uh, we'll be doing that a little bit in the run, so... But yeah... Just mainly Piplup and getting the Cricket Slot with Metronome is just like the most important thing. Anything else I don't really care about. I'd like to have no encounters up into Orberg basically. But if I don't get it, it's it's totally fine. <laughs> but yeah, the main thing is definitely uh, the Piplup and Cricket Slot, so... But yeah, a lot of the fights in this game are pretty free. Except for, like, Roar can be a little difficult. You can one-shot him with, like, HP Water. But he can flinch you, and that can be really annoying, so... But if we die, it's not too terrible, because we're going to need the experience for later on, so... But I will be saving for Gardenia.
Okay, so that walk is part of the manip. Basically right here, I'm trying to force no encounters, which I was able to do. So yeah, that's the one thing about having RNG manip, which is ma uh, mainly used in the main speedrun for both, uh, for actually all of like Gen 4 games. Gen 5 too a little bit, but uh, you don't extend that much. All right, we're going to name this Piplup W. So yeah, we're naming the characters just one uh, letter, basically, just because it's obviously the fastest. And in some cases, we need the text to be as short as possible because RNG, basically, advances in a certain part of the run basically through the after the tutorial or the catching tutorial let me let me make that clear <laughs> but yeah basically after this catching tutorial the rng is going to advance during the text box so i want to do it as fast as possible so that way i keep the rng going i don't want to be too slow with it so yeah it's kind of interesting that some text like some cutscenes with text bosses just Continue the RNG and some don't. RNG can also advance basically on grass. Every 128 steps, basically, uh, it recycles itself. So after you reach like the 128th step, uh, it go like the RNG will increase by one no matter what where you are. Okay, so we're gonna also get a couple things here. So. A couple Pokeballs because we're going to catch Starly before the catching tutorial, so we're going to need Pokeballs. Also, we're going to, yeah, so like I was saying before with the step count, we really want to make sure that we don't oops, take too many steps, too many extra steps, so... Uh, for the cricket top minute, it doesn't really matter too much, but it could potentially screw up the uh, no encounter minute for later on. So, so yeah, basically we're talking to our mom, saying goodbye, and of course our rival's mom wants to give him the map i think i think it's a map i don't remember <laughs> it's the parcel which is the town map and then later on he'll give us one but so yeah this is where we're gonna start the cricket top minute so we're gonna save so i need to pull up flow timer so flow timer is basically the tool that i use to uh minute and it's not cheating by the way <laughs> for anyone out there who's curious so yeah, we're going to restart, basically. We're going to start time. And hopefully we can get this first try, so. Gotta go all the way back. <laughs> Alright, we should be good. Uh, that might be a little late. Let's see. Yep, so that's two frames late. So I have a chart, basically, of um, what direction the NPCs are looking. So basically, I was two... My seed was two frames late. So I'm looking for a certain way the NPCs are looking. That felt good. 
Yep, that's it. All right, cool. So walking that certain path like that is going to force the Starly. It's going to be level two. Should be a male. Yep. All right, so we don't want this to crit. I think it might live a crit. Okay. So we do over half, so that's good. So this should be around a 78% chance to catch. So we want it to get in within the first two balls. Otherwise, goodbye, Starly. <laughs> But just in case, if I fail the cricket top minute, I'm just going to use my other save, my other file. So that way I don't have to redo this minute. So we're gonna walk there to advance the RNG in a specific way. All right, so far so good. So basically, here's the catch. Here's the catching tutorial. Excuse me. <laughs> so. Basically, during this catching tutorial, we have to actually mash because once a Pokemon uses its moves, it's gonna like pause a little bit. So we have to mash, that way it goes through faster. So it's like a little bit faster. But basically afterwards, that's where we really have to mash. And we cannot be slow with it. Otherwise, um, the RNG will be delayed basically. So uh, I'll be late technically, so I won't get the Cricket Sot. So we definitely wanna go early. And we have to, go, again, go a certain path. That way we do get the cricket Sot. So the movement's kind of wonky a little bit here, but basically we're going to be exiting the route, loading the city below us, and then quickly go back to the route and then go through a certain path. So, But then after that, we should have the cricket Sot. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, focus here so that way I can get it because <laughs> this is the most important thing and you can kind of tell if you're fash mashing good or not by looking at the text box the arrow so basically if you don't see an arrow you're clearing the box perfectly nice all right we got the cricket hot <laughs> That was uh, the most important thing. So it's gonna be female level three and it's gonna be holding the metronome. So if it goes for growl, I'm probably going to pound it. I'm kind of scared of critting it. <laughs> but we don't want this thing to be annoying to catch. So let's hope it doesn't crit. Okay, cool. So this should be at least a 62% catch, or, or higher even. Cool, so now we have Cricket Sot. So kind of like I said about earlier about like RNG advancing in like a certain way when you like walk or run on grass. So basically I'll walk there and on that tile, like the last patch of grass on the corner, basically there's like a huge like pause window so that way RNG ad won't advance there too much. So that's basically safe. So it's like rare that I'll go like too fast or too slow for there. So. That's where I have to get metronome. Otherwise, like these like next fights are gonna be really slow, so. Yeah, that's a crit. Okay, well, at least it didn't crit on the next turn, so. <laughs> Dying here doesn't really matter, but it would be quite unfortunate to die already. <laughs> so let's not do that. We kind of don't want to take too much damage from the Starly. Just because we're going to have to use our potions for Abris as well. And they can be a little bit scary. Alright, so first trainer down. Pretty, sim pretty simple. Almost died, but... 
we are living. So yeah, this trainer is not too much of a problem. Uh, so I've actually gotten a really good fight here where I first turn or second turn crit and it died. And then I think I crit the next speed oof, so it's like a three turn fight. If not, it was like a four turn, but with crits, yeah, you can definitely save a turn or two. It's like if we crit here, I'll die, which would be nice, you know. But if we crit the next speed oof, it'll die. So hopefully, we can crit. <laughs> Alright, so after the strainer, we're going to encounter a Bidoof and we're going to catch it. And then that's going to be our team. Oh, I crit it. The last turn, nice. Alright, there's our friend Bidoof. Who doesn't love Bidoof? So I'm going to pound it once and then I'm going to just chuck balls at it. I can't really go for another pound because of metronome boost and it might kill. <laughs> Unfortunate. <gasps> okay, well, I'm going to heal. <laughs> well, there's another crit I almost died to. Okay, well, there's the mess. This is interesting. There we go. Alright, we're good. We are good. And we have actually good HP for the upcoming fight, so... I'll explain why in a second, so gonna be the last turn of the route so basically i want to be at a certain hp for the upcoming rival fight just so that way i can one shot the starly successfully because it's a range without being in torrent so i want i want to be in torrent basically for the starly kind of but mostly for turtwig so that way i can two shot the turtwig and save uh hidden power pp So if you don't know what Torn is, basically it's it boosts your water moves. Uh once you're at one third HP. So we kinda wanna be as low as possible, but not too low, so that way we die from the star layer and the star twig. Alright, nice. So that's basically the most important minip down that I need for the run, so glad I was able to get that off. Everything else, if I can get no more encounters, that'd be nice, but we shall see, we shall see. Alright, so we're going to give Barry, or the rival, uh, his thing, his package. He's going to give us a town map, and then we're going to fight these Abra trainers to the right. So funny enough, the trainer on the right, or like the the girl trainer, uh, her Abra actually speed ties you, so I'm gonna actually just heal for safety. Yeah, I had to heal anyways. I was gonna make it with 15 HP, unless I obviously win the speed tie, so yeah. Uh, this fight could be faster, if you win the second speed tie. The second speed tie is the most important. Winning this one doesn't really matter because you're not obviously going to one shot. Unless you get a crit. Actually, I think this first Abra, if you crit it, it'll live. And that's another crit. I just keep getting crits. <laughs> I'm actually... Okay, so we lost the second speed tie. Okay, we didn't get crit there, so... 
I have to heal again, which kind of is unfortunate because I don't know if I'll be in taunt for the rebel fight now. Unless I get crit again. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely have to heal this. Like, I have to get, like, a first turn crit or something. Running alone potions is kind of scary, but... Uh, I can grab a super potion just in case for the... Uh, rock fight. Alright, so unfortunately we don't outspeed this Abra, so... Just a crit would be nice. Piplup plus basically means Piplup and it's evolution. So the plus indicates uh, Print Plup and Napoleon. Just the way people don't ex like think I'm just running Piplup and just put Piplup. <laughs> All right, so now that we have Hidden Power, we're gonna teach it to Piplup immediately. Right here. Because RNG does not advance in building, so. Alright, so we're going to talk to these three comms, so that way we can get the poke chin. Yeah, it is required in this game, so... <laughs> That's what we are doing right now. Alright, so here is the first rival fight in the game. Uh, he's gonna have a Starly and uh, a Charge Wake, so pretty simple. Luckily, we have HP Water. So we're gonna be doing a lot of damage, and the Metronome Boost obviously is going to um, help us out a lot, so. Unfortunately, we did not hit the range there, so what I'm just gonna do is just uh, bubble. Safe uh, pit and power water or pit and power PP. So yeah, unless this crits, this is gonna be a three shot. Yeah. Unfortunately, we were not able to get a torrent, but that is all right. This fight is free. Okay, that tackle miss is pretty good. Very nice. Because we were able to get the metronome boost, we were able to free shot. But unfortunately, I did waste hidden power PV, so that kind of sucks, but... We can make do with it, so. Basically, we need the Hidden Power PP for basically later on for basically Mars. Oops. Alright, so basically what we want now is to find two Geodudes, or an Onyx.
Any of you dudes will work, any level. But basically, we're gonna need a lot of experience for... Basically, the experience is good all around. It's good for Rourke, it's good for Mars. Because we'll hit just level 16 right before Mars, so we'll evolve. And that's very nice instead of doing it with Piplup. Oops. Movement is a little shaky, but it's alright, because we need a counter, so. We're gonna finish this off with a bubble. And if I somehow don't find another wild encounter that I can kill with, like, bubble, I'll just fight an optional trainer in the gym. But basically all the experiences is going to be very nice, especially for Gardenia. Because even with my level, I'm going to be basically level 23 for Gardenia. And even then it's going to be a range. Oops. Gardenia is still a range. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. So we definitely need all the experience we need. So we're going to be finding some optional trainers coming up here. Okay, so far so good. No encounters. I'd actually like to get an encounter here, but if I don't, I'll find an optional trainer in the gym. Okay, well, I guess that's the case. <laughs> That's very interesting. Only two extra encounters, so that's not bad. Okay, so we're going to actually escape rope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the super potion. On the right. So this miner should have a super potion. Actually, does he have it in this game? I hope so. Pretty sure he still has a super potion. Okay, he does. So I need to change the Poketch up to my team party. Just so that way I know what my mons are like. Mainly Primp up. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to fight this trainer right here. So unfortunately we have to hit in power here because I don't think Bubble is strong enough because it's level 10. And Bubble is very weak in this game, it's only like 20 base power. Quite unfortunate, but hit in power will carry. And eventually we'll teach Bubble Beam. Now, Bubble Beam is only good just to save an empower PP. So yeah, after this, I'm going to heal my Piplup, and then we should be good. So yeah, the upcoming Roar fight is going to be simple. But it can be kind of scary. Because Onyx and Kranidos will outspeed you, and Onyx needs to screech you. And it could just be a problem. Because if Kranidos decides to like flinch you or anything, you're just dead. <laughs> so we kind of have to switch, though. Yeah, I definitely don't want to see Screech. <laughs> but luckily in this game, uh, RNG is completely random. So it can, like, it's not guaranteed to go for a headbutt. It can just layer a pursuit. Alright, so we're actually going to evolve actually pretty early because we hit the trainer instead of a wild encounter, so... All right. And just in case, I have a super potion. But I don't know if I'll need it. Hopefully not, hopefully not. All right, so yeah. But yeah, everyone on his team gets one shot, basically. So that's very nice. HP Water is just going to carry us through most of the run, basically until we get Surf. All 
Alright, so we want to see stealth rocks. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so yeah, this should be a win, unless, like, we get really bad luck with, uh, Cranidus right here. Alright, see what we got. Adabot, alright, just don't flip, and we're good. Don't crit, and we're good. Alright, pursuit works, so. <laughs> alright, cool. And that's work. Very nice time, very nice time. Uh, so, what was that? Second try, Krikasot? We just got lucky with uh, only two extra encounters. Well, actually one, because I needed that Onyx encounter. Let me do that. All right, so now that Rourke's done, uh, pretty much we're going to have a straightforward we're going to have straightforward fights until uh, Mars, basically. But even Mars is not too terrible. So we're going to go to the shop right now. Oops. We're going to sell a TM, and then we're going to get a couple of things. It's not much. So we're going to sell that. Oops. So we're going to only get one super potion. And then we're going to get... 11 repels. There we go. It's funny because we don't we don't really need healing items or that much. Not until like later on. But the super potion is like just in case Mars crits you or something and you don't wanna potion twice or something. Oops. Alright, so we're gonna menu here. And teach Rock Smash immediately to Bidoof, our friend. So this is going to be the introduction to Team Galactic in this game. They're basically the bad guys of the Pokemon game. Alright, so we want our good friend Lucas to not choose the bad move, aka Scratch, and we want it to Ember. But since AI is kind of random. It might not go for it. Alright, Amber, perfect. Alright, so Wurmple's gonna die, and this one, or the Zubat dies to one shot. And we outspeed, so very nice. Alright, now we're gonna sit through basically a minute of text. <laughs> so, coming up, we're gonna have our first spinner, so hopefully we can get through safely, because... I don't remember, does she? Is it Zigzagoon or is it Shinx? Or Zigzagoon, what am I thinking? That'd be doof. <laughs> I don't remember, but we don't want to hit this trainer because it doesn't give much experience.
All right, so that was one of the ways to spinner pass or to pass a spinner in this game. Uh, I might explain it really bad, but basically you want to take a step forward and basically if she turns the other way or turns back, basically, of where you want to pass, then you just don't go. But there's like a time to it. You can be, if you're too late, oops. If you're too late, then it just won't work. It's like right there. That's another way of just turn frames. I feel like I'm worse with the turn frame, so I try to do the one step to menu. Also, let me, actually, no. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just teach pluck early. So basically I wanted to keep hidden power PP for mainly for these two Pokemon that are coming up. They're bug Pokemon, so basically not using pluck will save the super effective text box, so... But we're kind of low on PP, so... I'll definitely have to teach Pluck to them. Early. So yeah, Pluck is very important in this run, especially for Gardenia. Like, without Pluck, we'd probably take HP Ice, and it's not probably not going to be that great, because a lot of our mons in that gym are... Bulk, special defense bulky. So yeah, we're gonna teach Pluck here over pounds. Uh, yeah, my HP is good. I'll probably give uh, Pepple up the super potion later on, right before Mars. So yeah, these trainer fights are like, they're just die to one shot, so <laughs> they're not a threat at all. So we're just gonna pluck them. And yeah, they die one shot. Unfortunately, the Zubat doesn't die to pluck in one shot, so we're gonna have to hit him power all that. Useless crit. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna evolve for before the Glammeo trainer, so it's basically after the Zubat. And that's very nice, because that Glammeo can be a little bit annoying. Uh, I don't know if we outspeed if we evolve. I'm not too sure. I guess I'm about to find out, but hopefully we do outspeed. But normally the Glammeo, uh, normally Glammeo outspeeds and that could be really annoying because it has hypnosis so hopefully we'll be uh, out speeding here but if not it's whatever all right so we want to make sure i don't push b by accident i have before in different runs and it was not fun <laughs> All right, so we're going to get Prim Plop here, who's going to be pretty nice. I want to call him the best Moan, but he's pretty cool. So we're not going to teach Metal Claw because it does nothing. It is a bad move that can miss for some reason. <laughs> it's like 85% accuracy. And a move like that, you're just guaranteed to miss a lot. <laughs> But yeah, we don't really need Metal Claw anyways. So yeah. The music in this game is really- Oh my god, really? The music in this game is really nice. It's just very nice to listen to. Alright, so we're basically, we basically want to uh, outspeed here. It'd be nice if we do. 
Otherwise, we could see him miss hypnosis, excuse me. Uh, but we have a shit speed, so very nice. Alright, so we're done with that. We're gonna invade this galactic building or this place. It's not actually a galactic building, but they took it over. <laughs> the valley wind works, but yeah. Uh, there's a spinner coming up, and we have to dodge him twice, so let's hope uh, we could do that. I'm definitely not the best at passing spinners, for sure. So there are spinner, like, hold on, actually. There are spinner setups you can do. Like, you could run one tile right before, so that way he looks the other way and then you can walk. There's a way you can do that. But, there's actually one that I'm good at, so I'll probably try that later on, but for the most part, yeah, I'm just not good at that, so. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to hit the power here. This is going to be 5 out of 16 range, so it'd be a nice to... Okay, we got it, first try. First strange hit, and that was actually not even guaranteed, as I'm even close. So, I'll take it. Alright, so I'm gonna heal here because it has to fake out. It's not guaranteed to fake out, but. Healing here just in case. Plus, I'm kinda low. Uh, did not go for it. Okay. Alright, so. I think we died from a crit, so let's not get a crit. Thank you. And we're good. All right, cool. So this is guaranteed to kill because we're also in Torn, but it's also a range. Oh, we crit it anyways. This thing was Omega dead. But I don't know what the range is exactly for uh, Hidden Power. So, yeah. Uh, but being in Torrent there was uh, very nice because that guarantees it. And we also got the crit, so. It was Omega dead. So yeah, now that we... Uh, we're actually, this is good. Because I don't have to heal, plus... Uh, I have two hidden powers. So that will be good for a specific mon I normally want one shot with bubble. So... Yeah, this is very good so far. Alright, so the first trainer we're going to fight is this uh, Ponita trainer. Gives us a uh, really good experience. The unfortunate thing, though, is it outspeeds and it has Ember. If we get burned, we're not going to die, but it's just going to be very slow dealing with it. But it went for tackle anyway, so we're good. So yeah, all this experience later is going to add up. Unfortunately, we don't get the Lucky Egg. So leveling up is going to be very slow. So we're going to do some these optional trainers here. And then we are going to grab some extra candies. So we're going to fight this guy. We need this item. And it's going to be an extra attack. And we're going to need that for Gardenia. It's like really needed. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going to be a horrible fight, so. Uh, fighting this guy gives off experience, and we don't have to worry about losing time to passing him, like, three times, basically. So, yeah, it's just better. It's just better to fight him. It's kind of slow, but, yeah, maybe in the future, I can, like, route out something different, so that way you can fight less optionals and get, like, the same experience, or, like, close experience so yeah all these mons here are gonna get one shot though so that's gonna be very nice uh normally except for the bidu we have to have hidden power to kill bidu from one shot bubble won't kill nor, nor pluck so that's why i kind of wanted to save hidden power pp 
Basically, for that Ponita, that Ponita definitely needs Sinnoh Power. But the beat of here isn't too bad if we don't have it, but luckily we do have it here, so. Gonna get level 19 here. We're not gonna teach Bide because that is a bad move. Alright, so we're gonna fight one more trainer and it's gonna be a quick one, so. Let me get this. Let's not forget about that. <laughs> That'd be very bad. Okay, so we're gonna fight this trainer right here. And he's gonna have an Onyx and just speed us out speed and one shot with Bubble, so. Very nice, very nice. So, there should be no more optional trainer, so from now on, if I hit a trainer, it's because I threw or, yeah. It's either an optional or a spinner. An optional usually I just run into them <laughs> by accident, but. All right, so we're in the next part of the game where we're gonna be teaming up with Cheryl, who wants to get out of the forest. So she's gonna tag along. She's gonna have a Blissey, or Blissey, hello. She's gonna have a Chansey. Also, real quick, this is perfect. Uh, basically, I want to get into County here, so that way I get the free heal. So the way the game works is uh, after you basically every double battle fight with like someone you, that tags along with you, you get a free heal. So we're gonna need that for right now. Because this trainer is gonna have a Pachirisu who can spark and paralyze me, as well as a Beauty Fly who has a Mega Drain. So, the main threat is to go for Pachirisu. So, right here, we're gonna actually target Pachirisu first. And so, yeah, like I said, uh, Cheryl's gonna have a, uh, a Chansey here. And this Chansey is actually better. <laughs> Straight up. It could be really annoying dealing with this Chansey, but Chansey is good here because we want Pachirisu to target the Chansey like that. But if it gets paralyzed, it's going to be probably slower just because it's going to try to status heal it and just like heal itself. So Egg Bomb here is not going to kill there, unfortunately. But okay, Poison Sting there is good there. So we're going to bubble here. So that way we can kill Pachirisu and deal damage to the Wurmple. And hopefully Chansey right here will go for Egg Bomb to one shot the Wurmple. Uh, and that will basically save a turn. Because this is not going to kill. Unless it crits. Like that. Okay. Well. Do what you will, Chansey. It's probably going to go for Soft Walled here, though. Yeah. So that's kind of where the like time loss comes from. Because it's just going to be annoying and heal like that. Like, slow it down. And then, yeah. The Speedy Fly is not a threat anymore. It could be a threat. If I'm either paralyzed, or Wurmple decides to sling slingshot me, and so that way I lose speed. Because after minus one speed, I, uh, I, I don't have speed. And it could just be annoying. So luckily, we got a really good fight here. We've actually taken no damage, <laughs> funny enough. It's a very nice fight right there. Gonna avoid this grass right here because we don't need the counters. Alright, so both these Avros coming up, we're not gonna outspeed unfortunately, so it could be annoying, I guess, if it crits us both. Or if both crits me. But I could probably just heal, but yeah. I think. I don't know how true this is, but I think the one on the left is slower. So I think... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure, but I'm like, maybe one of them you might speed type. You have like a lot of experience, maybe like 21. 
Alright, so Chansey, you're not gonna crit today, unfortunate. If Chansey crit Egg Bomb right there, that's just a god fight. <laughs> but unfortunately, no crit from Chansey, so. But yeah, pretty straightforward fight. Actually, we didn't take too much from Pen and Power. So maybe, maybe we're, maybe I'm just crazy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna repel here. And then that's it for this forest, we're done. So yeah, that was a good forest, honestly. So yeah, coming up, Gardenia's gem, one of the most free gems. <laughs> it's, it's actually one of the most free gems, but like, if you miss the 15 out of 16 on Roserade, then we got problems, but yeah, that's like the only way you can really just die to this gym. You basically one-shot almost everything with Pluck, except for two Mons. And they're not really threats, so... So yeah, again, luckily we have Pluck here, so we're just going to one-shot everything. Which is very, very nice, because obviously we are Water-type, and we do not do good versus Grass-type, so... And luckily as well, none of these Mons have exp uh, Effect Spore, nor, like... Any, any, they can, they can't really do anything to status me unless like they choose a move, like stun spore or poison sting. They have that. Um, but yeah, like the Badoos, Luckily, they have natural care. I think it's natural care. Uh, all I know is they don't have anything to status me, so that is uh, very nice. Yeah, this is just free XP. Free experience. Free experience. So, coming up is going to be a Turtwig, and this is one of the Mons that doesn't die, and one shot to Pluck. So, uh, what's annoying about this Turtwig though, which I could probably die, is it has Razor Leaf, and if it crits me, and is an Overgrow, I might get one shot. I don't know the Calc for it, but... Yeah, I don't really want to find out for that, so... Uh, basically, instead of plucking and putting into Overgrow, I'm just gonna use, like, Pin of Power... ...in this pluck. We don't really want to do damage on it... ...immediately. So yeah, now it's gonna be in pluck range, so... And I went for a Razor Leaf. Okay. So that's kind of annoying, because I probably have to heal now. When I say probably, I say I will have to heal. <laughs> so, kind of unfortunate, but that is alright. And so now, this Rose, or, or Roselia, excuse me. This is actually going to be 13 out of 16 range, so. It'd be very nice to hit the range, but if not, I might just have to heal whatever it does. <laughs> 
Which is fine because I already have to heal from the Churchwig. If, if Churchwig ha went for like Taco or something, then I would have been like, yeah, I'm, I don't have to heal. Alright, cool. That's a crit. Well, that's just a way to get rid of the range, I guess. Alright, so cool. We can just... Uh, actually, I want to save my potions for later on. We're going to be kind of manipulating HP. Maybe, at least. So that way we can be in Torrent. And we can save some turns, so... What I'm going to do here is just... Oh, I don't even have potions. Never mind. Well, that's fine. And just in case, I'm going to save. Because if I die, I won't have an X attack and it's going to be a terrible fight. So, just in case if I die, I'm just going to reset. Hopefully that won't be the case. But yeah, this fight is basically free as long as... One, you don't get crit by Roserade, or two, you just don't hit the range. Like, you can still win, but... Yeah, it's going to be hard. But then again, it's just random AI, so you can just get lucky. Growth is good there. What's funny is you can actually take no damage from this fight. So far, it's so good, actually. Alright, so... Turchwig dies in one shot. I think if Turchwig actually led, like, in Platinum, this fight would be... Way too hard and impossible. Because I think it has Reflect, and it could just be annoying with Resolute Crits and such, so... It's basically just Platinum. <laughs> but luckily, at least with Cherubi, it's free. Just X attack and they just sweep, so... Plus, they're, like, a lot weaker, so... They just die in one shot. Stun Spore! Paralyzed, we want to get through. Okay, this is where it can be really bad. Grass Knot is good, because it's going to do not too much damage. We want to hit go through. Okay. Unfortunately, we did not hit the range, but this should be super potion range. Yep, so we want to hit through now. Okay, so that should be GG. Yep, cool. Alright, a little bit scary, but we pulled through. Gardenia is now. Very good. So yeah, after this, I don't think there really is like a big fight that can be annoying. I guess there's one that's coming up later on that could be really annoying, but it's fine because I'm just going to take the center right before. So yeah, we're done with that. Now we're going to do some Team Galactic stuff. But before that, we're going to encounter Cynthia. Cynthia randomly here, like, what's good? I've been just looking at the statue, I guess. <laughs> I don't remember much of, exactly of the spot, so I don't know why she's there, but I guess to check out the statue and such. So yeah, she gives us cut, which is kind of dumb, but we need it, unfortunately. We're going to get four of those, six of these things, and then six of these things, and then we're good. We're going to save our money for later on. But yeah, it's funny because unless things go really, really bad, we don't need all of these healing items. All right, so we're going to teach Grassroots, or Grass Knot, excuse me, Grass Root, hello. <laughs> grass Knot, and then we're going to teach Cut. To B our Bidoof. Our good friend Bidoof. Bidoof is low key carrying the team right now. Alright, we're gonna heal our status, so let's do this. 
Actually, I had a cherry berry. I should probably use that. Whatever. Alright. Oops, and now we're through. Alright, so now we're gonna go through some Team Galactic shenanigans. And then, after this fight, we're gonna be teaching a really good move called Bubble. So, Bubble's weaker pin of power, basically. But it's very nice to have the Bubble Beam PP, just to save, uh... HP PP basically. Just for like one part of the section of the game. And then otherwise it's like useless. <laughs> but it's very nice to have. It's very nice to have. And it's actually faster to use Bubble Beam over Pin of Power. It's less tech or less text, so it's gonna be just Clearing the boxes slightly faster, so we are all about that time save here. Except for the we we are not here for the crits, the unnecessary crits. So yeah, this part's kind of boring until we get to Jupiter. So so yeah, we're just gonna outspeed, one shot everything, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> It's very unfortunate to kill all these innocent Pokemon like Warmple. Let's get destroyed by this high level Bubble Beam from Primplup. Couple more trainers. It sucks that this game, the the battle system is just so slow. <laughs> it like honestly, if the battle wasn't so slow, like the like their HP bars just sometimes just go slow, especially like higher levels. That's when we're gonna really see it being slow, but if it was faster, this game would be much better, honestly. Like, look how much like, it pauses for a second and then just goes, like, W's Bubble Beam. And Platinum, like, there's no pause there, but it's still kind of slow just because of the HP bars, but... Yeah, it can be... It can be rough dealing with that. Especially if you're speedrunning. <laughs> it, it could just feel too slow at times. Especially when you're just clicking one move over and over again. It's like, alright, just move on to the next one. But nah, I, I just love Gen 4. <laughs> I am biased towards Gen 4. We're gonna hit a power here. I don't know if Bubble Beam kills here, but... Uh, we don't have to worry about PP right now, because we're gonna get a free heal later on. But then, like, right afterwards, we have to conserve our PP. But it's not gonna be too difficult. Alright, so there's that. I'm kind of shook where we took damage, but we should be- uh, oops. Did not want to talk to Clefairy. Alright, so this fight can be annoying, because Gunking can, uh, what's the move, screenshot? Basically lower our accuracy, and it's just annoying, so... It has, still has Night Slash, and it can poison us, so... If we take too much damage, obviously we'll just die. But it's gonna be kinda hard, because Night Slash can just crit at any time, you never really know, so... 
I think to be safe, I'm just gonna heal if I feel like I'm gonna die. So we want poison gas. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is a range to two shot here. Uh, that looks like a good range. So we should be fine, unless it's uh, lowers our accuracy here. Nice slash, so even if it crits, we're gonna survive, obviously. And cool, we got the range. Very nice. All right, and there's Jupiter. Pretty simple fight, but RNG can just decide to say no. All right, so that's pretty much that. Now we're going to go through, we're going to not, we're going to have a good time, but also a bad time. And I'll explain why. Ugh, this poison is actually annoying, but we don't really want to heal this poison, so. I apologize, just gonna have to stick to it. <laughs> I'll only be for a little bit. So yeah, I don't know when it was, but I think it might have actually started this gen. But basically, you don't die to poison. It might have been actually gen 3 when you don't die from poison. I could be wrong. It was one of these games that did it. So it's very nice because, yeah, we don't have to heal and waste uh, a healing item. Gen 3 died of poison? Yeah, you're right. I, I figured as much, but... But yeah, thank you for confirming that. Alright, so now we have the bike, so we're gonna go fast. <laughs> Alright, so actually we're gonna register our bike here. And now the poison damage is gonna be more annoying, but <laughs> it should stop in a second. Right here, alright. All right, so we're going to have to dodge a lot of spinners here. Actually, not a lot, but quite a bit. And this one trainer has uh, this one hiker, I should say. He has four Pokemon, so uh, like I said earlier, we don't really need the extra experience. It could be good because we might be able to skip a rare candy with too much experience from optionals or spinners. But yeah, I definitely don't want to hit anymore, so... Uh, we'll see if I can... Oh god. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna grab this rare candy here, because we're gonna need it for later on to evolve. Okay, we did not fight him, that's good. So I wanna... That was kind of scary, but... Oops, what am I doing? I'm gonna repel here. We don't need to worry about healing either, so... Alright, so we're gonna meet Cyrus. He talks about... Uh... Space. He talks about something. <laughs> so, goodbye Cyrus. And right here, we're actually gonna grab this Aether, which is gonna be used for later on. And now we gotta pass through these two trainers, so I'm gonna wait. I could have gone there maybe, but I'm just gonna play it safe. Uh. Alright, cool. That definitely works, I guess. Now we'll probably one more time, and then we're through. Heart Home City. 
unfortunately, we won't be listening to the music that much because we are going to be on the bike. So we cannot listen to the jams, but... Alright, so we're actually gonna go to this PC. Just so that way I can set my death warp here, just in, just in case if I die to the rival, and I don't have to respawn too far. But basically, we're going to... PC heal Armand, so... We're gonna PC heal, crimp up, and then leave uh, the rest of the Mons in our PC for now. Just so that way we can avoid this one double fight. And the rival fight can be kind of scary. But... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it could just be scary. Grotto can be annoying because of a crit, but... Uh, it's very unlikely. Unlikely you die unless you get crit. But just in case, if I do die to crit, I could just respawn right here, so... So yeah, normally, you would uh, PC menu here, just so that way you don't have to go through the uh, PC, because you're already right here. You have to go inside this building to do this cutscene with your mom, doing the contest. So, yeah, I think it's, it's just faster to do it this way, but I prefer safety right now, so... So this Starly is actually a range, it's 15 out of 16. I don't know how, but <laughs> yeah, the Starly is a tank somehow, so uh, it's bad if it endeavors, so let's hopefully not get endeavor. Okay, we get quick attack, so that's fine. Just in case if we don't hit this range. Okay, but we know. Alright, so Grotto comes out. Uh, if it Razor Leafs turn one, I'm just gonna heal until it doesn't. This is why we kind of need a lot of healing items, because you never know for this fight. Uh, Razor Leaf, I'm gonna heal this for sure. Because just in case if I put it into Overgrow, I definitely don't want to die. Raise Leaf again. Unlucky. That's a crit. Okay, so we're gonna actually energy root here. So yeah, this is where the fight can be a little rough, but the RNG is gonna be a random AI, so it can just absorb like that. It's like sure. <laughs> so now I could just do this. That's perfect. And now it's gonna die to pluck. Perfect. Tackle. All right. So there goes Grottle. Easy clap. Easy clap. I actually had a different fight before, but I think this is the most consistent to avoid overgrow crit razor leaf because we barely lived with like without overgrow basically. So we actually outspeed this weasel. I actually didn't know. I thought the Buizel had spared me, but it might, it, I, I think it has quick attack, so I think I might have mistaken that when I was routing it. But yeah, this, this thing will outspeed though. And if it burns us, we can just heal powder. It's not like the other Ponita where if we burn, we're just, we're just screwed. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, rival 2. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. As long as you don't get messed up by RNG. Alright, so we're gonna have to pass more spinners coming up, so that's always a good time. She doesn't look down in this game, and we're gonna repel here. So we're gonna grab actually a calcium, a hidden calcium that's right here. Oops. 
which is going to be important for us later on. So Calciums, if you don't know, basically boost your special attack EVs by, I think, what is it, 10? Something like that. So it's going to be very nice because it helps us, uh, it helps us with range later on. So unfortunately, unlike BDSP, where you can just escape rope, you cannot in this game. So we're going to have to... Oh, that was actually bad. Whoops. It's fine because you only have a Cleffa. <laughs> but I don't have to worry about passing him later on, so... But it is funny that this guy has a Cleffa and his name is Kirby. So there you go. If you wanted to see that in the run. But in any case, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. So yeah, we have to unfortunately climb down. So, oops, we cannot escape rope. So that is fine though. And we're here to basically get strength. Oh, I should have repelled. I wanted to take a couple of steps first. Punished. But yeah. We have to get HM strength there. That's oh, repel. <laughs> I really wanted to uh, save some steps. All right, so now that we have HM Strength, we can get out of here. We're actually going to be using HM Strength a couple times in this round. Actually, more than a couple times, a few times. And anyway, we don't have to worry about him since we hit him. It's fine. And we're out. So we're actually going to use this Repel also for some grass in a minute. So hopefully we'll be good. If not, then I'll just have to YOLO a couple patches of grass. Oops. Alright, that was a little scuffed, but it is fine. That definitely works. Alright, so this fight's free. He has Bronzer and Shield on, so... We just Bubble Beam. Nothing too crazy here. So we're going to grab this ether here. I thought it was a max ether, but it's not until later on. So we get that. But we're also going to need that for later on. So we usually we usually use our ethers later on, like towards late, like the end game. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then calcium. Uh, I took too much steps by accident because we actually have to grab this sink. This sink is basically going to be used for money. I have to get all of that. All right. And then we're going to fight this trainer first. All right. So I actually have the wrong calcs for Gyarados, so I should take less than what it says, but. Gyarados can be kind of scary because it has Thrash, and I believe this Monferno actually has Lair, so... Torment, okay, so... Uh, basically, you can either Grass Knot three times on the Gyarados, or if you get tor Torment like I just did, we're gonna have to Grass Knot, Bubble Beam, and then Grass Knot. 
So we have to see the bubble beam. Not super effective text, but it doesn't really matter. It's guaranteed to get three shot no matter what. Oh, okay. That's very good. I actually could have plucked there to save the not effective text, but it's fine. All right, so we're above 26 HP, so... Mm -hmm. Thing is, if I get crit, it's going to be really bad. Eh, I should be fine. We're at 35 now. So basically, this next fight has a Kadabra that outspeeds, and I believe it's Shockwave that has the most damaging move. It's either that or Confusion, but... Regardless, we don't want to die from this cadaver, obviously, so. Yeah. But I also want to be in Torrent for a Metatite, so that way we can guarantee a one-shot on it. So yeah, also, we want to fight the bottom trainer instead of the top trainer. Because once we actually level up, <laughs> funny enough, um, we'll outspeed this Glamio. Which we did so very nice but we don't have to be this thing disable it missed oh actually in my notes i should say to hidden power there just because of disable i kind of recently discovered that it has disable so yeah but i think in this game it has 80 percent accuracy i don't know when it changed but might have been gen 5. really Oh my god, no way. <laughs> That's a first. Alright, so we're going to do some shopping. Pretty simple shopping. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to sell... Zinc. Actually going to buy 12 x speeds for backup. But we normally need 11. Actually, no, we can actually buy 12. Let me buy one more. I have the money for it. So yeah, I'll use- I'll have these X-Speeds just in case. I could have bought less special attacks, but... Uh... It's good to have spares just in case. And then we're gonna buy you. And then we're gonna buy you. And the rest of my money is going to be for later. We don't need healing items. Like, I think we barely use healing items. So far, so far. Actually, I could have bought a revive. That could have been smart to do. But we'll be fine. Like, I'm going to buy revives later on, so... Alright, so... This gym can be... A little scary to do. You see all these trainers here, so it's like... <laughs> and they're like, some of them are, I don't know. You have to pass them multiple times. It could be rough. Whoops. Wait. No, I did it right, I did it right. I was like making sure I didn't screw up anywhere, but we're good. Where's my HP? Unfortunately, this is not Torrent and Detect here. This is kind of why we kind of want to save our Hidden Power PP. Because this Metatite can detect. And I'd gotten triple detected before. And I had no idea. So, <laughs> I was like, pretty screwed for uh, Hidden Power PP. But it wasn't too bad. Yeah, this is going to be like a lot of back and forth. But we're almost done. Just got past to this trainer. Go up here. Do this. Cool. 
I feel like my passes are not good, so sometimes I just feel like I get lucky. <laughs> Go this way. One more. Freedom. Freedom! Alright, so we're gonna pretty much heal the fall. I'm also gonna save here. This is the last area I'm gonna save. So yeah, this fight. Uh, hmm. It's not too bad. It could be probably annoying if Metatite decides to confuse you. But we want to take a lot of damage, I guess. So that way we can be in Torrent, but... Yeah, I mean, if we don't get into Torrent, it just costs us an extra turn, so... Uh, for safety, uh, I think just healing the full and just going to... Basically, we're going to set up uh, X-Spec X3. So... This is definitely the safe thing to do, unless... Unless... Uh, we live? Question mark? It's not Torrent. Unfortunate. Well, this actually happened my practice run earlier, funny enough. Okay. Well, I'll live now, so... There's not much I can do. I have to set one more up. It went for confusion anyways. Don't confuse me. Okay. Alright, we're good. Uh, a little bit scuffed, because... I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> I was barely non-torrent. I uh, I think I was like 3 HP above torrent, so... Unfortunate, but... Uh, we made it through. We made it through. The rest of the fight's free. We got speed and one-shot everything. So yeah, you either want to be plus 2 with torrent or just plus 3 without torrent. I wish we had choice specs here, but unfortunately we don't. If we had choice specs here, we'd probably just go to plus 1 and then... GG. But having the metronome is very, very nice. Because of that reason, we don't have to continue setting up. Because if we didn't have metronome, I'm pretty sure we just go to plus four or plus five. So it reduces the turn setup. Alright, so I'm definitely below 60 HP, so I'm going to have to heal for this upcoming double fight, which is pretty funny. Oops. Alright, so we're gonna heal. Alright, so this fight... ...is not too bad. So, unfortunately, we don't one-shot anything. So, we're gonna have to use an X-Spec here. And this Dust Hawks has Protect, so it can PP Soul. And I hopefully don't want to run out of PP here for... Uh... For HP. Okay, so that's actually fine. Because we're actually going to target Beautify first. Alright, so Clefairy used Gravity, so it basically boosts the accuracy of the field. I don't know by how much, but uh, a pretty good amount. 
So this donkey that's about to come out, it can actually lower my accuracy, but since I'm in gravity... Oh my god. Oh my god, I put it to sleep. <gasps> Usually say sing, and I put it to sleep. Not that, but I'll take that. So... Yeah, so... If Stunky wants to lower my accuracy, I'll just hit through because of the gravity. So that's going to be very nice, but as you can see there... Actually, Dark Void might be 100% in this game. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it was like until like Gen 7 where they nerfed it. Okay, this is hilarious. Prepare is putting in work right now. Very nice. Didn't have to deal with Protect. Okay. It could be scary if Kaferi explodes. <laughs> it would have been really scary because I don't know if I lived that, but... Yeah. Alright, so that's the double fight. A little slow, but... Yeah, it's just doubles in this game just are so slow. Because I was going to mention earlier as well, we're going to be doing some double fights with Empoleon, and we're going to be using Surf. And it's actually slower, just because we also have to kill uh, some of my mons. Because Surf was just going to hit them too, so. Yeah, it's going to be slow, but I try to think of ways to only include one. Uh, to not Well, basically to not include Bidoof. Oops, what am I doing? I'm doing this way too early. <laughs> I need this. So yeah, the double fights are gonna be... gonna be a pain to go through sometimes, but... Well... At least we can just surf. Alright, so this fight can actually be annoying because one, uh, we don't actually outspeed. I, I don't, we don't outspeed Mistrevious, I think, and Kadabra. So we have to X speed here. And we can't set up on this Ghastly because it has Curse, so we definitely don't want that to happen. So it's just better just to knock out this uh, Ghastly. But also, we want to X speed because Kadabra can, I think, has Disable. And Mischievous can confuse us, so we don't want to be in a heal loop, so... It is just better to stack speed here. Me and Luck, that's fine. It'd be nice if we were in Torrent here, too, because we would one-shot this thing, but we do not, unfortunately. But we don't see Confuse Ray, so that's very nice. So now we're just gonna destroy everything. Alright, so this Kevdapper dies to the power. And we outspeed. So nothing to worry about. Oh, it did not kill. Oh, it's because I selected what would be my accident. Uh-oh. I actually thought selecting Bubble Beam uh, would be fine, but... Whoops. How much does it do? This is kind of why we want to outspeed this thing too because it can also confuse but it's all right it's don't confuse me again all right whatever <laughs> all right so we are through and now we're gonna have to go through a bunch of optionals and spinners so first we're gonna do this and then we're going to do this. This is where we're actually going to start using strength a little bit. So even though we just got this move, we're going to say goodbye to it. Goodbye. This thing will be full of HM moves by the end of it. <laughs> okay, I actually could have made that cycle, but I'm just being safe. I'd rather 
take it slow, then hit an optional and take longer. <laughs> So we're gonna go through here. The music in this part is really nice. I love it. So we're gonna take this hotel here. Actually, uh, we didn't need it because I'm gonna go heal at the PC and I, so. We're actually gonna grab this calcium here. Another calcium, very nice. Okay, that was a YOLO, but. The fact she just spun was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. But hitting her is not too bad because we have to pass her multiple times in the shot. So uh, the worst case is, yeah, we just pass by her every time. <laughs> With these. So we're actually going to go through the safari zone. So we're actually going to grab a couple things here. First thing is we're going to grab defog because the fog route in this game, if you don't know, is it lowers your accuracy? Oops, it lowers your accuracy, and that's not very fun with Empoleon. <laughs> we don't have uh, any guarantee to hit moves, so uh, it is better just to grab Defog here because we're also gonna grab in a second. So unfortunately, we have to get off our bike because we can't bike in the swamp, I guess. So. Grab this rare candy. So we're basically grabbing another rare candy before we head to the gym. Just so that way I can get close to evolving. But then I'll evolve after wake, basically. But we don't need Empoleon for wake. Actually, yeah, I'm going to skip the PC for now. I'll go to the PC after wake. I don't really need to right now since I already heal. Oh my god. There's a way you can do this without getting stuck in the mud, but... That was alright. Wasn't the worst. But yeah, I don't have a revive anyway, so... Dying is useless. If I die, I can just fly anyways, but... It's like rare to die here. Like, you're, you have to have really bad luck. All right, so this fight's annoying. <laughs> Another fight that's annoying because of Wingles that outspeed and can confuse us, so. But we kind of don't mind taking too much damage because we kind of want to be in Torrent by the end of this uh, gym fight, basically. If we are in Torrent after the gym fight, we're going to save a few turns uh, for, like, for like a few trainers at least. It'd be nice to have it for sure, but if not, it's not a big deal. So, uh, don't confuse me. That'd be great. Alright, cool. But yeah, luckily, Strength just one-shots these wingles, so it's, they're not a problem at all. If you just don't get confused. Alright, so this next level, we're going to be level 32, and that's when I will give them their rare candies and shots, so... Uh... Yeah. I actually don't know if this Buizel outspeeds, so I think it does. Or I think I do outspeed it, but it went for a quick attack there, so it does not matter anyways. All right, level 32, very nice. We will go ahead and give them the rare candies and calciums, so. But we don't teach brine, so we don't really need it. It might be nice some places, but uh, I don't think so. I think just keeping HP is better. But 
Wait, did I use the calcium? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I could just heal it. I can just use it. Later on. It does not matter right now. So yeah, this is Ermal dies, but the Meryl won't die unless I crit it. Very close. I don't think it's ever gonna one shot, but it's very close too. If I was Napoleon, then yeah, but uh, I don't think there's another rare candy we can get. Uh, there probably is, but yeah, it's not really needed. If I if I ever get it, it's just gonna be time loss. So it's like whatever. <laughs> Alright, so this fight's gonna be slow because unfortunately we don't we don't one shot either of the shell wells. So uh, we're gonna unfortunately two shot both of them. And Grass Knot does actually nothing to Shell us. Just because it's light, I think. Or it's just special defensive tank, I guess. And obviously, hidden power just won't do anything either. So, strength is the best move. <laughs> so that's kind of we, kind of why we teach it, especially early, because it helps us get through these like water types that we kind of struggle with. Uh, don't lower my accuracy. Uh oh. Okay. Head through, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Alright, so uh that was good. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so I'm actually at good HP as well too. Like this is the HP I'd probably heal too. So I am totally fine with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight him straight away. So we don't need a setup or anything. We're just gonna spam grass knot. Gyarados is going to be a range with Grass Knot. So, the worst case we do to Gyarados is just with 3 shot it. It could also heal after a Grass Knot, I think. I don't know how that works exactly, but... If we do enough damage, it, it could. So... E okay, so... That's fine. Brian there is fine. Okay, so this should be this should be good. We should be good, yeah. Okay, so we got the two shot. I think the only way it doesn't two shots if it heals. I'm not 100 percent sure, but regardless, everything else just dies. This is the power of the rare candies plus calciums plus <laughs> plus uh, metronome. So yeah, this is this is just excellent, honestly. And then we don't have to worry about floats at all. The only time we have to worry about Floatzel is probably probably if we're under it half and it goes for Brine, then maybe it can be kind of scary. But in most cases, yeah, it's just a free fight, so. Uh, unless it freezes me. Okay, we're good. Alright, and that's uh, Wake. Easy fight. Critical hit. Did not matter. But very nice. And now we're going to get the king. It is time. Alright, so we're going to get Empoleon. The only problem with Empoleon is its speed. Its speed is actually terrible. But in this game, we surprisingly outspeed, like... 70%, 80% of the, like, the mods. Just because they're, like, so underleveled. <laughs> and, like, we're, like, overleveled. For most cases, at least. 
Um, but there are, of course, some things I know to be this, but it's not really an issue. At this point, this, like, the game is free. The only way I die is, like, I don't know, I just have to screw up somewhere, but... Yeah, Empoleon just rules. <laughs> Empoleon is just about to sweep the game. Literally, everything is free, honestly, until, like, probably Cynthia. Actually, no, Cyrus, the second Cyrus fight can be an issue, but uh, I can talk about that later. So I'm not going to PC heal, which let's do this, actually. I don't need a PC heal on Polion, so we're just going to grab those guys. So we're going to talk to this grunt right here, who is doing some suspicious activities. Very sucks, very sucks, but in any case, we're going to talk, oh my god, I'm not going to talk to him apparently, but yeah, there's a rival fight here, so yeah, we're trying to follow this guy because he was doing some suspicious activities but our rival wants to do a battle instead so we're gonna do that so everything just dies except for grotto unfortunately because that thing is a tank and somehow he still hasn't evolved to starly it doesn't make sense but that's just how it be he still hasn't evolved his mons <laughs> but hey i mean for a speed run i i'll take it i guess but Casually spanking? I don't think so. I don't think that's okay. He evolves his Pokemon by the power of love, I guess. I don't know. Actually, hoped for a Razor Leaf crit there. So that we can get closer to Torrent, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm getting Torrent. Like, starting here is where Torrent will be nice. But if not, I'll just waste an extra couple turns so it's not the worst so yeah like I said Empoleon is just gonna destroy most of the game now Goodbye. All right. So after this, this guy decides to interrupt us when we're trying to chase down Team Galactic, who probably dipped from now. He's probably long gone. I mean, if I was him, I'd be long gone. But which is so bad. And he's right here. He's just chilling. <laughs> he decided not to run far. So. That's good for us, I guess. Alright, so we're not going to take this hotel here. Heal, excuse me. Uh... So we're going to chase him down one more time. And then we're going to fight him and destroy him. I really could have just not been here, but he decided to chill at the beach, so that is on him. He was the one that to do that. Alright, so I believe this thing has fake out, so don't do it. Thank you. So yeah, what's very nice about this game, though, is since the RNG is random, uh, they're not guaranteed to go for fake out, so like... Uh, who was it? Mars? Mars is, uh, probably. It's not guaranteed to fake out, so, uh, it's going to be very nice coming up. Or, well, later on, it's not coming up, but. Yeah, so we're going to talk to Cynthia, because she's just doing whatever. This 
actually faster to say no here. So we're gonna say no, and then you get the secret potion. So we can save the Psydux. I have to teach fly and defog quick. Actually, I should I should do that first. Actually, mm, I don't know. Alright, cool. Now we can go ahead and fly to Celestion Town. The goons. The squad, they're here. So I don't know why C uh, Cynthia can do this, by the way. Very, very strange, but whatever. <laughs> she just has us, we're just doing her chores for her right now. Crazy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and defog right here. And now we can actually see the route. Nice. But yeah, if we had to deal with defog, it'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. <laughs> so, it's just better to grab defog. When the battle is already slow, you don't want to make it slower. What am I doing here? Uh, but yeah. So defog is actually like time saver. <laughs> Especially for an upcoming Machoke. If we miss with the, that thing, we could die. Like that fight can be really annoying. But yeah. Since we remove the fog, obviously we'll be fine. Uh, but this is a range on my choke still, uh, since we're not in torrent. It's gonna be at a 10 out of 16 range, so. Uh, hopefully we can hit that, because I don't know if I revives. We literally get revived the next town, so it would be very bad if we die. Oh, wait. I was gonna wear off. All right. So yeah, um, I don't know how much it does. Maybe I should have a calc for that. But uh, yeah, we could die right here if we miss the range. I don't think I don't think we'll die unless we get crit. But I might have one of those moves that like crits automatically. So I just might be dead. I'm not done. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so that was basically the last scary fight. This next fight is not bad at all. This is going to be a burb trainer. It's going to have a hoot hoot. Wait, what's my strength count? Actually, I might not have enough. I might have to. HP. I think this is like the last time we're gonna use strength for our, a good while. Oh no, we have enough strengths. That's interesting, I didn't know. I thought we had more. But yeah, like I said, we don't need strength anymore, so... That doesn't matter. Very late pause, but whatever. I stopped anyways. Oops. Alright, so... 
we're gonna grab choice specs now. It is time for choice specs. All right, so just to be safe from whatever else now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of revives for now. We don't need it, but uh, just in case. I don't think I'll die to anything, but you never know. So we're gonna fight this this grunt. He is gonna be not challenging. And then we're gonna be off to the gym later. Because in this game, we do not fight Cyrus. Because there is no Cyrus fight here. Which kinda sucks, honestly. I wish we fought Cyrus more, but uh yeah, this is uh not platinum, so. So, easy clap, easy clap, and then just gotta go through some text smashing. Oh, I talked to her twice. I, I knew it. <laughs> I knew I was gonna do that. They just talk so much, and I sometimes I just forget when they stop talking. I feel like I'm not alone there, though. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get the best move in the game, Surf. And, yeah, we're about to win the game now. We're gonna win the game with this move. So, yeah, if you don't know, Surf is 95 base power in this game. Uh, I believe it has 15 PP, so that's very nice to have for a very strong move. And so yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna destroy everything with Surf, basically. So we're gonna teach Surf, and we're gonna teach it over Pound or uh, not Pound. Uh, it'd be Pluck. So good by Pluck. And then we're going to equip Choice Specs over Metronome as well, so... Um, we'll be back with Metronome for like a couple fights later on, but... Uh, for yeah, for the most part, we're going to be using Choice Specs for the rest of the run, so... Uh, that's that, and then we're going to fly away. To Heart Home, yep. Wanted to make sure I flew to the right place. Alright, and then... We're going to fight Fantina, so... This gem is better than Platinum, but it's also worse because it's it takes forever to get to Fantina. <laughs> I don't have to worry about optionals or spinners or anything, but this is this is this is not fun. <laughs> right in this elevator. Very slow. We have to do it three more times. So yeah, the puzzle's very easy. It's right, or it's, yeah, it's right, middle, left, and then right again. All right, and then Fantina. Fantina is pretty easy. We just X speed and X special. If we're not in Torrent, and fortunately we are not in Torrent, so. Uh, another reason why Torrent's very good to have, but it's I feel like it's so hard to get. Like, you don't want to be too low for, for Awake, but the higher HP, like, less chance you will be in Torrent for, so. It, it, there's just nothing you could do. <laughs> We 
Oh. Actually, we might be in torn from this, depending on what it does. Don't astonish. Or that. Well. That's literally 1 HP from Torrent. <laughs> uh, very close, very close. If it went for another ominous one, I would have gotten it, but... Yeah, like I said, it's kind of hard to get Torrent with uh, Napoleon. Because it resists so much. Like, Steel-type... Like... Like, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Steel type. Was very good type. Very good type, indeed. Alright, so yeah, like I said, this fight's free. Crit, use this crit. Not gonna teach Whirlpool, because that is a bad move. Alright, so we basically got another two hours left of the run. Maybe less. We're on pretty good pace right now. Shadow Claw is useless. Let's team. Alright, so now this is done. We're gonna go over to Jubilife and go to Candelia City. And do all that stuff. But yeah, I wish we were in Torrent, so that way we can one-shot the Grotto, but... Yeah, unfortunately, we will not be in Torrent for that, so... So here's Cynthia. She just came to thank us for the chores. It's like, yep, yep. So before we go to Candleleaf, we're actually going to pick up this rare candy. So we're going to need to pick up four rare candies and then we'll be set for... Actually, no, we'll pick up more rare candies later on, but... Uh, we need four rare candies, so... For later on. Before... Before the Mount Coronet section with Team Galactic. So this is going to be one of them. And these candies are, like, really good. Again, it sucks that we don't have Lucky Egg, so... Like, compared to, like, the normal route, we're not going to get as much experience, so we kind of have to pick up these rare candies. But in the end, it's worth it, because we're going to be guaranteeing... We're going to be guaranteeing some ranges, and we're going to be improving ranges, so... Oops. Uh, I'm just going to wait. kind of fucked up, but... I messed that up, but it's all right. Hitting that guy is kind of annoying because he has a Manti, or Manti, excuse me, and he has a Gyarados. So the only way we can hit him is by Grass Knot, and Grass Knot doesn't do too much. So we kind of have to, uh, not battle him. <laughs> if we can. Alright, so, uh, we fight... We, uh, excuse me, we one-shot everything in this fight, but the grotto. But it's not like we're gonna die or anything, so... That's, like, the good thing. Like, we might not one-shot things, but it's not like we're gonna die or anything. Like, we're pretty safe from dying. It's not like, like, using Infernape, for example. 
missing a fire blast and then dying to like a Storavia from like Aerial Ice or something, for example. Because that can definitely happen in a sock spot. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pulling on too good right now. Empoleon too powerful. Actually, we might die to Razor Leaf crit here. Uh oh. Okay. That's quite scary. And unfortunately, we don't need Tor anymore, so. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but yeah. <laughs> we will be hearing this jingle for a while. So I'm, I don't need a heal. So yeah, basically all of the gem just gets one shot. Except for his emerald, actually. He's a range. So 12 out of 16 range on his emerald with grass nuts, so... We do, uh, I'm considering Surf because we are, we are in Torrent, but I don't know. Thing is with Surf, I need to consider my PP as well, so I should be good to Surf, but I think just in case I'm going to grass not. I should uh, look into that though. I didn't really consider it. Alright, so luckily with Grass Knot, everything we're going to Grass Knot just dies to in one shot. So we don't have to go through this uh, the super effective text with Surf on Steelixes and Onyx. Actually, yeah, with Onyx we still have to see the super effective text, but for Steelix we don't. So it's a little bit faster. We're going to go through this way, because I'm not going to... Bother. I'm not gonna even bother trying to risk passing him. I'll just do this instead. Alright, so we're just gonna hit him power here just to save some surf PP. And everything just dies to hit him power. wondered why Steelix floats. I don't know if there's like an actual reason behind it, but I've always found that interesting. Especially when I saw the Pokemon Snap Run. There was a Steelix and it was just floating. I'm like, how is this possible? <laughs> Why does he not have Levitate? But yeah, I have no idea.
All right, so even if we don't get the range, I'm pretty sure we'll live a hit from Azermo still, so I don't think it'll matter. If we do miss the range. I could be wrong. But yeah, this is just, uh, it's just, it's just easy. <laughs> just going through it. Nothing really, uh, nothing really crazy, I guess. But then after the, after this is where it starts getting interesting. We don't click just surf. We click other moves. Well, actually, that's a lie. We'll we'll start to not click surf soon, but. Yeah, for the time being, server just still OP. Alright. Let's get this range. Unfortunately, I did not. But I should live. Yeah, there's no way this kills me. Oh my god, I tanked that. <laughs> I took that. Yeah, Zero is not really a threat. I don't think it has anything to be a problem. Alright, so. Uh, Byron time. This is going to be a very difficult gym leader. The hardest gym leader. Torrent, they just, they just Omega die. There's no chance of surviving. Sucks we can't really take advantage of Torrent for this gem, really, but... Uh, yeah. Like, we can, we can take advantage of Torrent later on in the run, probably towards the end, like the E4 area, but... Uh, doesn't really, actually, it kind of helps a bit. It can save a few turns as well. But yeah, like I said, like, Empoleon just doesn't die. There's, like, no risk to Empoleon, except for Cynthia. I feel like that's, like, the one place where it can be troublesome. But, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But for the time being, free. Goodbye. Byron is down. Alright, so the real problem is talking to him again. I don't want to talk to him again, because if I accidentally talk to him, he's going to have, like, a million text boxes, so... Let's not do that. Alright, so we have to go through the library. Oops. We have to go through the library to get some knowledge.
right, so now, after this, we're going to fly back to Pastoria, and we're going to take the Hotel Hill. Fly back here. And unfortunately, we still have to dodge the, the spinner. I believe her name is Cindy. She has a glam meow. So fighting her is not too bad, but uh, in the end, yeah, this time I lost the fighter still, so. I, I completely blinked and I thought she turned, so. <laughs> Whoops. Whatever. We got one speed EV, so. That might be useful for speed tie. But nah. Uh, it's whatever. Uh, I guess it didn't really matter since I'm going to heal anyways. But yeah, I don't know. That was very strange. <laughs> I thought she turned. But yeah, like I said before, I don't have to worry about her. About passing her again. So it is all good. But yeah, unfortunately her experience doesn't really matter. Kind of a waste, but whatever. Okay, recently I've been messing this part up, so let's... Try to take it slow. There we go. All right, so, uh, Mars, this is the first time we're, uh, we're seeing Mars and we're gonna fight him. So he has a Kadabra that actually outspeeds me and has Shockwave. So before I thought these Kadabras had, uh, what was it, Kinesis. I think they do in BDSP, but they don't in this game. So I was kind of worried about this fight, but yeah, without Kinesis, this fight's like no issue at all. Other than this Kadabra, we outspeed everything and we one-shot everything, so... Uh, pretty standard fight here. And it's gonna be this, the same thing with the next uh, Mars fight. Or, uh, uh, sorry, not Mars. I'm saying Mars. Uh, Saturn. I always get them mixed up, but yeah, Saturn, Saturn, and Mars are both free. So I'm actually gonna try a new strat with uh with Mars. So hopefully it pays off. If I got best, it saves me a turn. But if not, then does nothing happens. <laughs> I kind of figured it out when I was practicing earlier. I was like, I could just do this instead. It actually is better, but it's kind of RNG. Alright, so we're going to head to the other lake now. Going to fly to Twin Leaf. My movement right here is about to be terrible, so let's see if I can get up once in a million. Okay, that was actually not bad. I kind of wanted to be on the other tile to the left, but this is fine. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about with the double fight, the bump, the double fights, excuse me, where actually having an extra mon here on our team is going to be slower. But I realized that we don't really have an opportunity to deposit Bidoof and then get him back. So we're just going to have to deal with that like this. And luckily no fake out there. I don't know if it has fake out, but I think it does. If it fakes out on Bidoof, it's fine. But 
Yeah. But yeah, I really wish there was a way we can just not bring Bidoof, but we he, he's just that important to us right now, so. <laughs> he kind of has to be on the team. But that's fine. Bidoof gonna go all the way. He's gonna carry. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna heal. Just a little bit of this HP so that we don't have to later on. So I have, like might as well do it now. So yep, Starly's gonna take a million. Alright. Oh, this Maglamio might have fake out actually. I don't know, one of them does, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I've been faked out before. And then there's a couple more double fights we have to get through. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad if the battle was faster. So, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna skip an X speed here. I don't think there's anything bad with missing missing the X speed. It could be annoying for Golbat. If Golbat decides to confuse me, then it's like, yeah, okay. And we're gonna be faster than Parakali, but like I said before, it it can save us a turn if the Golbat's not annoying here, and Parakali doesn't go for pick up. So you know, I'm gonna try it here. Air Carter, perfect. So yeah, we don't need to expect or anything here, so the only thing is just X speed. And so we just skipped it, so we're good. We outspeed the bronzer, so we don't have to worry about bronzer at all. So yeah, hopefully probably won't go for fake out, but if it does, whatever. Nice. Very nice. And probably can't touch us, so... Yeah, there's... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. If you get status, that's just how it be. <laughs> cool. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Celestic Town and we're gonna do some shopping coming up, so... It should be pretty much the last shop that we're going to do for the run until the end. So we're going to fly to Celestic. So definitely gonna buy some potions. So these potions are gonna be good to help us get into torrent later. We're gonna buy some of this. I'm not gonna buy a ton of revives. I should be good. Just buy four. Gonna buy some full heals. This thing. And the rest we can just get on repels. I got 25 just in case I somehow mess up my steps. But. 11 is normally enough, so... Can repel here. Actually, why did I uh, switch gears there? Because if you switch gears to the fourth on the boulder, it's just going to go slower if you push it. And we're going to break these rocks right here to get a rare candy because it is needed. Well, I don't know if it's needed, but it's very nice to have. Like I said, it'll just help us with ranges and such for there, so... Uh, why not get them?
And there's going to be another rare candy, actually. Oops. Coming up. On this boulder right here. So we just need one more rare candy for our fourth format cornet. And that's, we'll, we'll get that later. So I might have to repel. Okay, no, I don't. Cool. Okay, that's a spinner. That's a scary spinner. Uh, okay. I think I got him going, but... Eh. So unfortunately, I have to repel here. If I didn't get that rare candy from the rocks, I would have made this patch of grass, but yeah. It just makes it a little bit awkward because now I have to open up a menu on itself just for the max repel later on. So it's whatever. Alright, so... This right shoe can seem scary, but it's actually not scary because we have speed. So that's going to be very nice. This is not a threat. It's funny because I actually think we outspeed every Raichu in this run. And there's a couple more. Part of it, I think, is because just because our level. We're like six levels of it. Oh, oh, six levels ahead of it, pretty much. But, I don't know. And Pelipper, Pelipper just dies in one shot, so that's very nice. And even if it doesn't, Sandstorm will probably kill it. So goodbye. Alright, cool. And now we can fully listen to the jam. This is easily the best route music. Okay, so we should be able to get this trainer cycle right here. I've actually practiced this, so that is very nice to know that I got it. And cool. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so I'm actually gonna max repel, or actually not max repel, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna teach a couple things here. Gonna teach rock climb and we're gonna teach flash cannon. So with there's a couple of reasons why we teach flash cannon, because uh it destroys like Candace, because we can't surf. Because it has a bunch of grass types and such, so flash cannon is gonna be better for this gym. And also for this upcoming fight right here, uh we need flash cannon. <laughs> we need to one-shot this Roselia, otherwise it's just gonna be annoying. But unfortunately, we don't one shot the seeking. So yeah, that's like like the seeking is not a problem. The Roselia is a problem, and we have no moves that can just one shot it. So, yep, flash cannon is very good here. Also, I love how when I was in the snow, the game went to sixty FPS. <laughs> I don't know why that is. The game just decides to go 60, F 60 FPS for a second. I have no idea why. Maybe because of the bitrate or something, I don't know. I have no idea how that works, but... Uh, don't confuse me. I mean, I probably was just gone for it anyways. Alright, cool. See, so yeah, like I said, I have to repel kind of like 
at an awkward time, so. Uh, let's see. Oops, where am I? I'm going. Somewhere else. <laughs> Thank God, my repel didn't wear off there, so. Alright, so this gym, this gym, this gym. It can be rough. There's a trainer I actually might hit, because it's very hard to dodge. But hopefully that won't be the case. Oops. Almost messed that up, but we're good. Do this first. Alright, so that trainer right there to the left, where she just looked down. Yeah, she's gonna be annoying the dodge, so. There we go. Easy peasy. Very scary, but we pull through. <laughs> Alright, so this fight's free, we just X speed and then the flash cannon. So it actually has a Metacham. Metacham is not an ice type, so uh I was kind of worried at first that Flash Cannon wouldn't kill Metacham, but it does, so. It just one shots, so it's like, oh cool, well, this fight's free then. <laughs> I mean you guys probably just X back anyways, but uh we don't. It's very nice. So all we have to do is this, and then flash cannon, and then GG. The hail is annoying here, but it's whatever. It's not the worst thing. Alright, how much PB do I have on Flash Cannon? Three? Alright. I, the Flash Cannon PB doesn't really matter, but... It's just nice now. So we're not going to teach him this, because that is a bad move. Alright, cool. Candice is down. Alright, so now we're just going to be mostly doing Team Galactic stuff. For at least... I don't know, 40 minutes or so. Maybe less. So going to actually repel here so this actually happened to me last time so basically i repelled over here and it wears off in the galactic building but right before spinner so i definitely don't want the repel to uh mess up the uh spinner pass so yeah i'm just gonna do that early and we are good
so we're gonna fly now. And before we do anything, gotta talk to the sky to give us the access key thing to get through the gate. The storage key. So there's a spinner here. Yep, there's the repel. Okay, so that's kind of uh, the way to do the spinner setup. That's like the only one I feel comfortable comfortable with. I don't know why. But yeah, that should have been guaranteed. Otherwise, I just got lucky there. But in any case. So we're running low on PP for both Surf and Flash Cannon, but luckily there's a bed that we're going to heal at after the next turn after this. Just have to remember to Flash Cannon the, the Zubats, or the Gobats, excuse me. Because if I Surf the first one, I'll just run out of PP. And I've done that before. <laughs> Definitely something you don't want to do. But yeah, the, the Galactic Building's pretty straightforward. Just have to know where to go, what to dodge. There's only a couple spinners, really. Yeah, that was risky. That was risky, but I was tempted to go. We can skip that guy by going that way. Unfortunately, in BDSP, you cannot skip that guy. I don't know why they made it like that, but... Okay, so now we have the Galactic Key. Now we can go to the other building and actually get through this part of the section. If you're wondering what is in that Pokeball, by the way, that's a Dust Stone. To evolve the one and only Murkrow. Or Miss Magus. But I, I would assume you want Murkrow over Mysterious. Because Murkrow is cooler. Alright, so we want to go actually up one at all here. So that way... Uh, we can skip the other uh, trainer. Oh, if there's just a trainer you couldn't skip, because in this game you can just go over the the chairs, but in BDSP you can't. And there's a trainer in the E4 that you can't skip in uh, BDSP. Because his vision, uh, he could just see you as soon as you start going up, but in uh, in this game you can dodge him. So yeah, they just, they just made a couple of trainers mandatory. Do this without not messing up my movement. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to get the free heals, which is very nice to have. The only thing that sucks, though, is it revives both my mons. So now... I'll have to kill them again. <laughs> like, I'm 
considering doing these fights as singles instead. But I think it's still going to be faster doing a double. Because yeah, killing killing your teammate is just very slow. And we do that a lot. And there's just nothing we can do. So yeah, we're just gonna go through this double fight and then we'll fight Cyrus. And that's an interesting fight, actually. Cyrus is definitely an interesting fight. Luckily, I don't think any of these things have fake out, so... Uh, I think only Krogon was Sucker Punch. Yeah, if he uses any moves with priority, it's just unfortunate. This goes a little slower. This thing might have fake out. Oh, well, didn't use it. I've been getting pretty lucky, honestly, with no fake outs on these Glamios or Progress. There's a couple more that has fake out, so hopefully I can get through them. But very nice so far, honestly. So we're actually going to go through this metal teleporter, and not to Cyrus yet. Because we need to grab this elixir, which we're going to use for later on. And then we're also going to grab the last rare candy we need for now. And we should be good. We're going to be using the rare candies in a, in a couple minutes after uh, Saturn. We're going to use it so that way we can destroy the fights afterwards, basically. Alright, so Cyrus won. This is an interesting fight. So, before, when I had first routed this, I had no idea that its lead has a certain move. So, the Murkrow has Embargo. And if you don't know what Embargo does, it basically cancels out items. So, I can't use items. But also, uh, after X Speeder. It also removes basically choice specs. I don't have choice specs until. It basically goes away or comes back. Or I can use items again. Also, no embargo there, so this is a sweep. But if it did embargo, I have another sh uh, thing I can do. It'll, it'll cost a turn to kill the Zuba or the Golbat. But it's not like it's bad or anything. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting because when I first did this route, I didn't encounter it. And I didn't encounter it until like. A run. I was in, like, I was doing a run, and then I just saw an embargo. I'm like, oh, what do I do now? <laughs> but it wasn't much of a problem. I just flash cannon. So you don't want to surf on the goal bet if you don't have choice specs because then it's just gonna put it in healing range. So you just want to do flash cannon, and where it's gonna be like, all right, well, that's stuff again, two shots, so. And then Sneasel, you just also flash cannon. So I don't think Surf is a one shot. So yeah, it, it was interesting. I thought it was going to be a problem, but it wasn't. <laughs> so here we are. We have a free Master Ball.
We're gonna totally use this free master ball. Right. And Saturn 2. This is a free fight because it's the same as the last we just heard. Again, uh, Kadabra outspeeds us, but it literally does not matter because it can just shockwave. That's all I got. <laughs> and it, it, everything just dies. Isn't Napoleon amazing? We could just click one move and just win the game. Actually, we clicked Flash Cannon too, so. Not Flash Cannon, it'd be. Probably worse, but. Not by much. So yeah, we're gonna reach level 48 here, so, which is what we want, so... It doesn't really matter if we're a little over 48. Level 48, very nice. Now this bronzer is about to die. Goodbye. And there's Saturn too, so... Saturn... was a nobody in this run. <laughs> they, they disrespected Saturn. I guess they justified it when they made his ancestor in Legends of Arceus. But in any case, uh, so now we're going to go to Mount Coronet. Before I go to Mount Coronet, though, I'll do a couple things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my candies, and then I'm going to revive... Uh, I can just revive one Mon. It'll probably be, uh, Beedoof. Because he's right there. So, what we'll do is we'll... Wait, I had this Calcium. I never used it. Well... Uh... I was like... What do I do? <laughs> now we're good, though. But yeah, I forgot that Calcium. Well... It doesn't really matter. It only impacted, like, the range mons, but it didn't impact it too much. Like, things go from, like, 11 to 16 to, like, 10 out of 16, basically. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is why we have notes, just in case. But, yeah, we're good now, so we're gonna go fly... Back to Orberg. And yeah, we're basically in the bang game now. So... Let's see if I can do this without messing up. Uh-oh. Oh, that was very, very close. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So I'm going to actually not repel because I already used one. Here we go. Surfing in Gen 4. Very slow. Well, actually, it's not even Gen 4. It's just this game, honestly. <laughs> it's really just this game. That has that problem. Alright, so we're going to have to go through a couple trainers here. I accidentally might hit one of them, so hopefully I don't. Put it around there. That was very close, but I, uh, I feel like I never hit him just when I just go like that. Alright, 
there's a couple more spinners. Which should be fine. Oops. Okay, so I don't think I need it, but just in case, I'm gonna grab this extra ether. But I probably don't need it. Thank God you instantly turned. <laughs> Thank God for that. But anyways... Actually, we need to go this way to get a rare candy. I don't need it right now, but I'll need it for the E4. We don't need the candy, but it's going to help us with ranges, like I said before. Like, that's all the candies do. It's not required, but I, uh, I think it'll help with uh, hitting ranges and not actually dying. Especially for Cynthia. Because that fight is very strange. Alright, so... Just gonna do this. Alright, cool. I didn't go... I didn't hit a trainer, or an optional. Or a spinner. So that's good. Alright, so we're just gonna just surf everything again. <laughs> everything just dies to surf. Uh, this thing has fake out. And luckily, no fake out. Very surprised I haven't been hit by fake out yet. Take it. done with that. Gotta get through this double battle. So yeah, we have to revive a Pokemon here, otherwise they'll just send us back. They'll just push us back towards the cave. I have to get another Mon here. It will not allow me to continue without one, so yeah, that's why we're forced to have a Beedoof here. So, I don't know how... 
pretty sure I've seen this Dustox live the surf. I was very confused how, but I don't know. I saw it one time. But I was like, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Uh, okay, cool. That actually might just be a range, but I have no idea. But I don't think so. May it might have been before I got the rare candies and calciums. Not too sure. But everything else just dies. Everything else just is weak. The only reason why the sucks can live there is because obviously uh Surf will do less damage because it's a uh it's 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 a double, so Yeah. That's all I don't know though, because the next fight is actually like the easiest thing ever. <laughs> It's literally free. I I don't know before the stunk tank was arranged to kill, but I don't think so. I have to recalc it for sure, but I don't think it's a range anymore. But regardless, if I hit if I miss the range of stunk tank, it's not the end of the world. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> That's the thing about Apollyon. I can miss all the ranges and just not die. So yeah, I just lose a turn. That's just what it ends up being. But no, I I I think it will kill something. So yeah, this fight's free. I don't I don't do anything but surf, <laughs> which is also why we got the rare candies. Because if we didn't, I'm pretty sure we. I don't think uh, surf would Oko. I think it'd be a range on the Bronzors, and if it light screens, then you have to set up for sure. And you're like you don't even need X speeds. As well. So that's like very nice. But well, Cyrus is different. Cyrus is uh, a bit more complicated, but uh, that should be fine. That that'll be a fine for uh, that'll be a fine battle. And even if I die to Cyrus, it's fine because I'll just revive and I grab those extra X speeds. So uh, yeah. I mean, worst case, I can fly to, uh, I can fly to get more X speeds, but, uh, I think I'll be fine. And we don't need to worry about healing, because after this fight, we're gonna get a free heal, so. Which is very nice, very nice. But, of course, our good friend, rival, Barry, or Dot, in this case. <sighs> like I said before doubles are very slow in this game so we want to see Floatzel it can go out to Floatzel I've seen it once ever but not again Floatzel can tank a, so a surf so if it, if it tanks a surf for one turn it's going to be faster because I'm killing two mons instead of three mons so that's what we want to see But I mean, if not, whatever. <laughs> I think literally the worst money can go into a Star Raptor because it will do the Intimidate text box speech for uh, both Intimidated Mons. And just, I don't know, it just slowly dies too. <laughs> Probably. And Stone Tank. Ponita, okay. So yeah, we're probably going to see Ponita in Star Raptor. I don't think we'll see Floatzel. Oh, right. <gasps> it outspeeds. I forgot. Oh, I always forgot about that. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I can just full heal. I always forget Perugly outspeeds, but it's not a problem. Uh, let's do this. Just very unlucky. It, it went for hypnosis and hit me. And, oh my god, it almost, I thought I was going to do it again. <laughs> Okay, this is fine. I just lose a turn. Could have just went for that before. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I should definitely have that in my notes. 
But yeah, it's still not worth X-speeding here. Even if Perugly does not speed. Because it could just go for... The Bronzers could just go for Light Screen. It's like GG. <laughs> that's a that's a free... Uh, X-Bex. But, yeah. But it's all good. We didn't get uh, Hypnosis again. A little bit of time loss. But it's alright. Start after, yeah. This is about to be ultra slow. So yeah, that's uh, Mars and Jupiter. Pretty straightforward. Crit. Stop getting crits, thank you. Alright, cool. So, that's that. And now, we just gotta go through some more story and then... Fight Cyrus, so yeah, again, the free heal here is very nice because uh, my Surf PP is actually very low, so it'd be very annoying if I had a PP up in the middle of the fight, so. But yeah, we're good. Goodbye. Alright, so Cyrus 2. This is a, a fight for sure. This is probably the second hardest fight. Uh, except for Cynthia at this point. But with Cyrus, so basically, Honchcrow, the evolution of Murkrow, this thing still has embargo. So we do not want that in this fight. It is very bad. So what we're going to do is actually just surf and one-shot this thing. We're just gonna get rid of the possibility of embargo. And but the problem is, it's gonna go into Gyarados, and Gyarados has Earthquake. But we can tank, I think, two Earthquakes, if I'm not mistaken. Like barely. Like max rolls. But the AI is random, so I just have to get lucky. So setting up on this thing is gonna be better. So what we're gonna do is We're gonna X speed first, and then we're gonna X special. So, we want to see Giga Impact, like this. This is perfect. So, so, this is a free setup at this point. So, unfortunately, we do have to X speed. We could probably skip the X speed, but the Crobat and the Wave are going to out speed. So, now we're just going to spam Surf until it dies. So, this should be a two shot. Uh, it might put it into Super Potion range. If it does, then it's probably going to be a three shot. Uh, I believe with the Super Potion, it's still a range. But that, that first uh, Surf looked really good, so this might have a chance. If not, then we could just Surf again, and then we just... Yeah, okay, cool. So we got it. So this is definitely more consistent than setting up on Honchkrow. And it's not really a problem, unless it Earthquakes try twice, excuse me. I mean, like, the worst case, you just have to heal. It just takes an extra turn to heal. But this way, you just outspeed the Crobats. We've all... They can't really hurt you. They can't really do anything. I don't know if uh, Crobat has, like, Supersonic or anything annoying like that. Confuse Ray. But, yeah. It's just faster anyways than, ha like, giving it a turn. <laughs> Same with the Weavile, so... Yep, that's our Sith, so pretty easy. Pretty easy, so. There we go. Alright, so now. Uh, a little bit of uh, text right here, and then. We're going to go ahead and capture the Alga, so. The Alga is very important in the run. 
Dialga is basically where we're going to be using the sweep the rest of the run, so... Empoleon has done an amazing job, but... It is time to use this Master Ball once and for all. And use a Dialga. JK. So we have to actually use a Poke at all here because uh, Empoleon is slower than Dialga. <laughs> and trying to run away from this thing can be annoying, so just Poke it all. You could probably run away, but it's just going to be, it might be annoying. So yeah, we don't actually use Dialga. Empoleon is better. Okay, so we're going to skip rope. And we're going to go ahead and fly to Pastoria. That's a good thing. We hit the spinner because now we don't have to wait for her. So that's very nice. I just hope I don't get a rare encounter here. I don't know what the odds are. It's like 1%, I think. Oh, I had a repel anyways. Never mind. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So, get this hotel heal because we do not get the free heal after Cyrus or Dialga capture. Or in this case, run away. But, uh, yeah... Uh, just gonna rock smash. Not gonna worry about that spinner. All right, so this part is pretty straightforward. Even though it is an electric gym, there's not a lot of electric types, especially that can deal with us. So, um, yeah, we pretty much just watch one shot everything. I do have to be careful for my Surf PP though. So I have to be really careful for optionals. Useless crit. So yeah, this is where I'm going to start using those ethers and elixirs I got, so... We're going to use a couple for uh, the Victory Road. And then we're going to use a couple for uh, the Elite Four. And luckily, this upcoming Gastrodon does not have Storm Drain, so... Uh, blessed for these non-good abilities these mons have <laughs> in this game. Because it'd be really annoying if they had like their best abilities. Because I'd probably have to shrink this thing. So yeah, we're good there. Now we're going to talk to uh, Ronald and McDonald. AKA Flint. With his totally legit fire team. Sometimes I forget which gear I'm in. So we're basically going to get Valkner to battle us. And then, yeah, we're going to go to the gym. I don't really get why they did this. <laughs> I guess to add more story to the game, I guess. But I feel like this part was unnecessary. Alright, so Ronald McDonald's still here. And now he's gone. Goodbye. Alright, so 
There's two spinners in this uh, gym. One of them is not bad. But one of them is has four Pikachus, I think. And we don't want to fight that. We could probably Flash Cannon them, but... Yeah, I definitely don't want to Surf them, because... Uh, I'll run out of Surfs by the end of the, the gym. So I'll be going through a, a, quite a bit. Alright, so luckily this Pachirisu is not faster than us. So we we're able to Surf and one-shot it. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so this gym's kind of crazy with its puzzle, but... Basically, I gotta do... Basically, you just have to push a different, uh... Different switches. To align with each other. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but... Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, this gym. It's, it's, it's a long gym, but... It kind of makes sense for it being the last gym. So we're actually gonna flash cannon this thing to save some star pp. This is a very cool electric type, by the way. Mr. Mine. I'm gonna flash cannon this thing too. You could, like, not flash cannon it, but uh, just in case I had an optional, I'm definitely going to save my last Sir PP. And the flash cannon one shots, anyway, so. Yep, just trying to make sure I'm good for that. And then, fun fact you can actually go up the stairs like that in this game. Uh, the spinner's kind of weird, in a way. They're not their normal spinner. Like, if you try to run, they won't look at you. So. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, I yelled at that one, but. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we have to dodge him two more times. <laughs> We have to dodge him two more times. Uh, but this Kadabra outspeeds me, but I don't think it can do anything. Uh, somehow this Kadabra outs outspeeds me, but not the Raichu, so... I would think Raichu would outspeed me. Reflect. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, I would think Raichu outspeeds me, but it does not. So, I don't know. It might be minus speed. Not too sure, not too sure. Or maybe just Raichu is not fast and Kadabra is faster. I have no clue, but I will take out speeding this thing because this thing could be a threat. Or it could just be our level. I think being 11 levels above is uh, pretty big. <laughs> Alright, so the second last trainer. We're just gonna click Surf. I think we can Flash Cannon this too, but um, I'm good on my PP, I think, so. Because uh, we need... Let me see, actually. Yeah, we're good on Surf. Because we need at least uh, six in total uh, for the next... Uh, for the next trainer and the gym leader. So we'll have seven after this. So we'll have an extra one. And that will be for the optional if I hit him. Or the spinner. Optionals and spinners are two different things. One optional is just like... It's just standing there and you have to hit him yourself with like bad movement or something. And the spinner is just... Obviously, something that, like, rotates, and that can catch your vision. But in any case...
We're totally gonna battle this guy who has mono steel team. Or a mono uh, electric team, but. <laughs> uh, he has a Steelix instead, so. Okay. I have no idea. I, I don't know why he has a Steelix, but okay. And then he has a Metacham. I think he has a Metach. Oh, you know what? They. I think. I think he has a Steelix and a. Oh, this Metacham has to detect. I had no idea. Okay, this is bad. Okay. Thank God I brought the extra ether just in case I was in this situation. Because if I didn't have enough surfs, uh, I'd be screwed. I'd have to use an ether. But I wouldn't have enough. So. It is a good thing I brought the extra one just in case if I, uh, if I do need it. Which I might actually hear. I'm just gonna yell it. No. Okay. <laughs> the wait was worth it. All right. The last gym leader, Valkner. You would think for an electric type, he would be a problem, but he's not. For some reason, we actually outspeed his whole team, so that automatically is very huge. So, all we need is this, and then we win. Uh, full heal? Okay, thank god it didn't go for, uh, Thunder Wave. Now we win. <laughs> now we just one-shot everything. He has, uh, Octillery, but we outspeed, or, well, yeah, we outspeed, but, uh, we just one-shot with x -Spec. And yeah, we don't have any speed issues. We just one shot everything, and yeah. Actually, no, we don't outspeed Ambipom. But Ambipom can't really do anything to us. Like, the only thing it could do is Shockwave, but it's not Stab or anything, so. Or it can't paralyze us, so. It is actually not a problem at all. So we just let it outspeed. It's better than having to try to set up X speed and then get paralyzed. So, I have no idea why a Paton passes there. That's so weird. Oh, well, the random AI. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I've seen Paton pass like twice in a row so far. From runs. So, it's very strange. But this is an easy clap. Actually, being a torrent here, or after this fight, technically, is very nice. But unfortunately, we don't get torn, so. Yeah. Like, I think we could get torn as if, like, Raichu does a lot of us, uh, damage to us, but. Yeah, it's all good. It's, it's, again, it just saves a few turns. And that's Volkner. So the pace I'm at right now is sub four, four hours. But I'm like, it's like close. So if I can get sub four during a, like this marathon, that'd be hype. So I need a good Cynthia. I don't know where else I can save time, honestly. Yeah, I think Scythia might be actually where I save time. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to save time doing that. Alright, so somehow Jasmine is in this game. I completely forgot until now, but she's in this game. She gives you a uh, waterfall. 
Embargo, yeah. I mean, I have strats around it, but uh, it, it's definitely going to be slow if I get Embargo. All right, so I'm going to Rock's Repel. I'm going to teach Waterfall. Let me see if I need anything else, actually. Goodbye, Flash Cannon. So this Mon is all HMs now. So that's very cool. Okay, so Max Ether, right? Yeah. Okay. So Max Ether Surf, and then get rid of Specs for Metronome. And there's a couple reasons why we're going to use uh, Metronome for a couple battles at least. So. Uh, I guess I'm going to explain that right now while we're going through this slideshow of a, of a game right now. But, um, so Metronome is actually good for this fight. It doesn't help too much, but, um, actually it's not even this fight, but it's better than Specs because we don't want to be locked in. Um, being locked in is kind of, uh, bad especially the next fight where there's a blissey so we'd rather keep the metronome we would definitely rather keep the metronome if you have torrent metronome here can be really good as you can just waterfall and you'll be in torrent and you'll have a chance to actually one shot the mantine i don't know exactly the range on it but yeah i'm not even torrent so i'm not even gonna think about it so what we're going to do is here is just waterfall, hope for the flinch, if not then let's go for strength. But strength is very close to killing here because of the metronome boost, but it just doesn't kill. So uh, if I get the flinch here, it's going to be faster like that. There we go. It's also better that way because it has water pulse and it can confuse me. So uh, yeah, that works out. So yeah, again, the main thing is we just don't want to be locked in. So it's just these couple fights and then we'll switch back to choice specs. Okay, this spinner is kind of scary because I move so slow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're good there. All right, so this literally the last spinner. Let's see if we can avoid him. I didn't menu. Uh-oh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I literally just went forward and did not stop. Well, one mon's not bad, but that's probably rips up for. It's fine. We can just shrink this thing. Uh, ooh. Okay. That's annoying. So yeah, I hit how many optional or how many uh, spinners? I think I only hit like three or four spinners, which is not too bad, I guess. Not terrible, but yeah, I could do better. You know what? I think I could have gone, but why risk it? <laughs> All right, so that's it for that part. We're done with ocean water. <laughs> now we can actually move. Pause if it's wear off, yep. All right, so we're gonna have to fight another Golduck and then a Blissey, so. Yeah, we're not just gonna... I mean, you could Waterfall X2 on the gold deck, but... Uh, I don't think it'll want... I don't think it's a shot. I think it's a range. So yeah, it's just better to strength. Strength and then probably strength again on the Blissey. This is nice because it's uh, faster. So this should kill. Oh, I don't get the range. And this is why we want to fall, though. 
And so yeah, now I just waterfall the bus and it's done. Alright, this is gonna be a good ten seconds, so good a good break right here. Grab this max elixir for later, and then that's it, really. All the elixirs we need. So yeah, I was saying earlier how I was thinking of not having Bidoof on the team, but I've realized we do need Rock Smash for this part. So I'm like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of pointless to remove him and then add him back in. Oh my god, this movement, please. <laughs> Oh, I was supposed to equip choice specs, but I don't think it will matter too much. There's like one Mon that won't die, but it won't matter because it was a range anyways. But Rapidash and Rampardos will just die. Just the Carnivine will live. I won't get the range. Unless I could, of course. But it's okay. I definitely need to equip it after this, though, so I'll do that. It's just such an awkward menu. I hate having to menu for just one thing. <laughs> so I'll tend to skip it. And then forget about it. But in this case, it doesn't really matter. A little closer to Torrent, I guess. But yeah, the next trainer, I definitely need it. Let's uh, get choice specs. Thank you, Metronome. You have been very helpful. And eh, not really. I missed the range on gold uh, on uh, gold duck. <laughs> yeah, Metronome can be definitely good for that, but yep, was just unlucky. Alright, so there goes Torterra. Alright, so now we're gonna grab a rare candy that's like right here, so. It's like. here. <laughs> so that's the last candy we're gonna pick up, so. Let me make sure I don't hit him.
so next level, we're going to level up to 59. And then after the battle, we're going to use those candies. And then that'll be it for the run for that. And these things we just surf. Keep on surfing. We literally just click surf as the only move from now on. Alright, so we're gonna actually hit. 59. I'm on early because I fought the gold duck. I wish we can use Hydro Pump for Cynthia, but yes. It's uh, we can't do it. <laughs> we have all HM moves. Otherwise, I'd really consider it. Just get X accuracy for the end. But, unfortunately, like I said, just, we can't teach it over HM, so... Terrible game. Alright, that's our last, our last Max Repo. Actually, I have to do other menu. Whoops. Good thing I remembered, honestly. So we're gonna do this. And then get the candies. To level 61. And now we're good. This is so slow. I'm very close to Torrent, but I'm not in Torrent, so... Uh, for this next fight... It's better to have... Actually, better to have Torrent. But, unfortunately, I do not, so... Uh, yeah, the next trainer has two water types, so... Unfortunately, I'm not gonna two-shot... Or, unfortunately, I am gonna two-shot them. But... I think so. Or just any percent is like an hour or less than an hour. Because that's honestly not bad. An hour speedrun. You can get so many attempts in. <laughs> Way more than like this three hour, four hour run. But no, I think it's just other things too about this game. Yeah. It's crazy because Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Platinum are not this slow. Diamond and Pearl are beyond slow. <laughs> this this game is absolutely slow. Yeah. They fixed it a bit, but it's not by much. Gen 5, yeah, they yeah, of course. Literally one of the best gens. <laughs> nah, it's all opinion, but I really do like Gen 5, though. But now Gen 5, Gen 5 was uh was good. One of, was good because one of that reasons at least. <laughs> Actually, 60 FPS and like, oh, okay. I was kind of scared for a second. But yeah, I just like that Gen 5 was fast. Like, you could actually, this, like, this speed game wouldn't be bad if it wasn't so slow. And the time wouldn't be terrible. Because this game's actually not too, like, not too long. It's just, the battle takes forever. I also don't know how much to take from the Scaredos here, so I hope I don't die. <laughs> but, I mean, if I die, I can just revive.
And even with, uh, even with the uh, blah 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 torrent, I don't kill the Gershomp. Yeah, I don't think this run is, um... I don't think this run is, uh, stuff for pace anymore. Unfortunately. I, I have to crit here. No. Rain Dance. It can Dragon Dance and I think it outspeeds, but I don't think it can kill me, so... Empoleon is a tank. Alright, so... That's it. That's all... The... Least important trainers fought in this game. We still have the Rival and the E4. So... Uh, we are very close to finishing. So... I was gonna risk uh, both combat as Raptor, but since oops, I took the long, longest way. But since I um, don't have enough Surf PP, I'm just gonna do this. Actually, I'll just bring you the Savior. Yeah, I don't think this is sub two pace or yeah, sub four pace. Like unless I had like a really bad E4 member, I don't think uh, this is it. All right, I want you to close combat me, please and thank you. No. Okay, this is bad. This is what something I've been considering about. I might be dead here. Uh, I have no idea, so we're gonna find out. I have no idea. Oh, this thing's level 53. Mm. Okay, well, we live with Leaf Storm for sure, but an Earthquake, I don't know if we live that. I don't think so. So that's fine. So yeah, everything dies here, except for his Heracross, or not his Heracross, excuse me, uh, his Snorlax. His Snorlax is tanky, and it lives a surf from plus one, so. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But otherwise, this fight's fine. But yeah... The U turn into Torterra turn one can be a huge problem. And now we have to go through the Intimidate text again. Yeah. It just didn't go for it. It'll 100% give me Torrent, as long as it doesn't crit me, obviously. But yeah, it has to go for it. Because <laughs> it does minimum 88 to high roll 104. Actually. No, it won't. It won't even give me Torrent, so. I have to be, like, mid-HP. Like around here. Never mind. I can't take. I can't. I can. Oh, or, excuse me. What am I trying to say? I can't get to. It has rest. Okay. Well, this is very unfortunate. Yeah. And this game is completely random. I'm almost positive. Maybe some cases might not be, but I'm. Um, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, I had no idea it had rest though. Yo, HDN Marathon. Appreciate the raid. We are just finishing up this uh this run right here. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna surf Phoebe's. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. And thank you for the good luck. We are moving on to the Elite Four right now, so... Unfortunately, this is not sub-4 pace anymore. So that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, this is not even PB pace anymore. Well... I'm gonna... Wait, this is the wrong trainer. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some 4 stores. Just in case. Probably don't need it. So we're gonna actually heal. Look how many hyper potions I use during this run. Like we barely have to heal, but I buy them just in case. <laughs> also, we probably don't need Bidoof, but uh, Bidoof is powerful, so we're just gonna bring him just in case. He might be good for Garatina, honestly. Or not Garatina. <laughs> I met Garchomp. So yeah, Aaron. So, uh, Dust Docks. I believe this thing has light screen. So we're just going to go ahead and just get rid of it. Because <laughs> we, we do not like the screens. Uh, so we're just going to surf. And then... So here. Here is where we can actually get Blaze from a close combat user. Uh, it's going to go into Heracross. So we're going to X speed. And we're going to hope that... Uh, it close combats. If it doesn't, then we just have to X back and hope that we live a close combat after that, but we should. Uh, but just in case if I die, I can just revive, so. Okay, so we have to X back. So yeah, this is definitely better than having to uh, set up on Dust Ox because of Light Screen. Interesting. I decided, decided not to go for close combat, so... Unfortunately, I won't be in Torrent for Eren. Or, uh, for Bertha, excuse me. Rai guy, my guy. Nice. Rai guy, Rai. So yeah, everything just dies after plus one. And Polyon is just broken. He is this broken. Again, if he was faster, oof. But I think they knew. Alright, goodbye Drapion. All right, Aaron down. I did not gold the split. Nice. I was off by 0.5 seconds. All right, so I'm just gonna heal a full just in case. And then I also have to do this. No, be doof. Be it's it's Empoleon and be doof, not just Empoleon. Be doof will carry.
All right, so this fight is free, but uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, this fight's free, but I th I don't know. If, I don't remember what was the range. Wish Cash or Su Pseudo Widow? So without Torrent, we have to X spec on the Wish Cash. And we pray that we do not die from it. I think. I actually think the Pseudo Widow doesn't die. Just because it's in the sand and it gets that uh, special defense boost. So we have to X back on being torrent. Or it could be the wish cache, I don't know. Some of the things I don't remember about, so. <laughs> but again, if we die, it's fine because I have Vidoof. Like, I don't think I need him, but. I think for safety, it is uh, it's definitely required. So yeah, right here we're gonna X back. And then hopefully we can take a hit. Oh, okay, yeah, we can easily take a hit. <laughs> Damn, I'm not even golding this split either. How am I behind? <laughs> oh, this I don't think this is even PV pace. Let's see. I can check my splits. No, this is not PV pace because I was in torrent. Goodbye. I have to have a really good Cynthia. I I love the Cynthia fight. It could it could be bad and slow, but I think it's still really cool. I think it's definitely interesting. I think it's not boring like what I've been doing <laughs> for most of the run. Okay, I'm barely non full, so I'm just gonna do this just in case. That one HP, it could matter. Okay, so this fight. So it's gonna lead off with Rapidash, and Rapidash has both Sunny Day and Bounce. Sunny Day, we'll have to expect twice because uh, obviously we're a water type versus the sun, so we're gonna do less damage. So in order to make it up, we have to do it twice. It could also go for Bounce, and it can paralyze me, so. Uh, if it does, I'll have to hear that, obviously, so... Uh... Okay, so we're gonna do this. So as long as it doesn't paralyze me, we're good. I could just do that instead. What up, Truly? Good morning. I love Cynthia's theme. All right, so the rest of the fight is free unless this somehow like max roll hyper crits me or something with this move. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this is interesting because Volution. I'm wondering if I should heal this. No, I think this is actually good HP. This, I think, this is HP I want to be in for Lucian. Now I'll kind of explain why in a second, but in the meantime, everything is just gonna get swept here. I'm wondering if I should save for Lucian. 
Because I'm wondering how bad dying is. I don't think it'll be bad, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this, actually. So I actually want to test out something for Cynthia as well. Yeah, this is perfect, actually. It'll make the Cynthia fight much better. If I don't heal. I'm losing time. Where am I losing time? Am I not doing something faster than time? Actually, it's not Cynthia's room. <laughs> okay, so I need Alexa here. My last one. All right, Beedoof is live, so we're good. Just in case if I die. Uh, if I die, it might be on... I hope it's on Alakazam. But it might be on Metacham. So, we're going to start off with an X speed. This thing can also set up lights, but or light screen, but we can't do anything. We need the X speed. So, if it goes for a light screen, then it will set up the X spec. So, we're going to X speed here. Hopefully, don't see light screen. Psychic there is unfortunate. So here we just have to surf because it's going to be a one shot. And then we have to set up the. Ooh. Actually. Oh, it just lives. Wow. Okay, this is fine because now we're in torrent. Don't. Okay, we're good. This is actually better. This is actually better. I think I had to expect again because I wasn't in torrent. Or if that's just a range, that just might be a range. So I thought it dies still without an X spec. Hmm. I don't know. It worked out though. We're in torrent, so. We literally just click surf now. And it'll kill everything. So yeah, this is perfect. Because all those potions I bought earlier will help me get into a good HP for Spare Tomb. So that way I can easily set up and win. And not have to worry about ranges with Garchomp. Or anyone else. So yeah, unfortunately this is not top 4, but... Uh, this is still a really good run. This is still a really good run for sure. I'm very pleased with this run. Lucian down, Lucian down. One more trainer to go. Good morning, fortunate. Good morning, good morning. All right, so. Actually, no, 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 no. will be worth it. Oh, uh, if we get no... Okay, so let me explain real quick. So Cynthia is a very complicated fight. It's probably the most complicated fight for this route. But it's not bad. It just might take a little bit because of Embargo. So, in this game, unfortunately, Spiritomb has Embargo. So, again... It's bad because I obviously can't set up items and as well as I don't have choice specs. So it could be good because we can stall a little bit with strength and it's not going to deal damage to it. So we can't like 
deal some damage and then heal and then etc etc so yeah basically we saw with uh, uh strength and like waterfall and such so if we have to so uh low hp strats gets us into torrent so this is gonna be very important for uh setting up it could make the setups better so uh dark pulse here okay so this one i'm actually gonna do this and then i'll x speed Okay, a crit kills us, I think. What are we? Sorry. Uh... We're good, we're good. I wasn't I wasn't worried about the spare tune. I'm worried about getting this range on uh Garchomp, but we should be good. Cause we're in Torrent plus two, so this should guarantee us until uh Milotic. So yeah, this is good, this is good. No 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 embargo. Probably the best solution. I was considering healing and then setting up more, but no, this is good enough for now. So yeah, this this is gonna kill for sure. There's no way it doesn't kill. Yep, alright. Crit did not matter. <laughs> Crit did not matter. Okay, so in this game, Lucario does not have extreme speed. I'm almost positive. It does in Platinum. <laughs> Which is why some people might get confused, but... Regardless, it's a 25% chance for it, so... Alright, so the Stroserite's gonna die. Okay, so now, 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 we either need plus three torrent or plus five no torrent. So I'll probably have to heal this. Uh, I hope I have energy powder still, because that'd be perfect. Uh, I have potions. I can hope for like Aquaring or uh, Surf doesn't kill. Oh my god. Okay, well. We're going to plus five, boys. We're going to plus five. <laughs> Actually, no, I have to go to plus six. Well. Oh, now you go for that. Okay. Yeah, plus five is soul range. If you're curious about that range, it's a three out of 16. You got me messed up if you think I'm going for that range right now. <laughs> I think I'd yellow it, honestly, but yeah, I'm trying to finish this run. That's unfortunate, but that's not me. Nice. This is why we grab four stars. <laughs> Actually, was I done? I'm, I don't even know if I'm done setting up. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah. All right. This should be GG's unless this is like somehow a 15 out of 16 range, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It just lives and I explode. Well, I mean, I have Bidoof the God just in case, but. Yeah, Bidoof, uh, he's just chilling in the back this time. And yeah, that's uh, Pokemon Diamond with Piplup. So, uh, not bad of a run, honestly. I think the most, like, 
happy thing I'm about about this run was it didn't take long to get the cricket tot minip at all. It took me two tries to get that, so it didn't take long. And I'm underestimate. Almost up four? Yeah, I could have definitely sub four, but uh a couple mistakes, but nothing too bad. I wanna see what my best possible time is after this though. Cause I definitely have some gold splits in the middle. And based off of that, I can see how, like, how close I can get to. But yeah, I'm really happy with this run overall. Like, honestly, no really bad RNG. It could have been way worse. Yeah, we're actually, like, way ahead, so. Should I stall? Should I stall 10 minutes? What was the final move set? Surf. Rock Climb, Strength, and Waterfall. The God, Legend. Chess all right here. 437, ignore the in-game time. And stop the time, by the way. Oops, I should have probably said that earlier, but... Yeah, for me, I got a four, uh, 403.55, and that was with the, uh, considering the time for, uh, getting the Churner Demon up, so, I'll take it. I'll stall. But yeah, amazing run of, uh, overall. That's Pokemon Diamond. Hope you guys enjoyed that, though, for sure. It's different from Chimchar. Chimchar is definitely faster, like, no doubt about it. But, and this is with Sanva quit, so... Uh, yeah, honestly, could have been a better run, but it's definitely good. It's definitely good. I'm happy with it. Yeah, awesome job, Mui guy. Uh, yeah, Chimchar might be faster, but uh, Piplup is a lot cuter, so we'll take that. <laughs> Piplup gamers rise. Yeah. All right. Good job. Uh, everyone, do you have any last shout outs or anything you want to say? Other than that, we're going to take a quick break before our next run. Honestly, just shout out to you guys for setting this up and running it, honestly. I feel like you might not, you guys might not get a lot of credit, so honestly, you guys are amazing for hosting and running this event, so 